Hello. Hi, uh, everybody. Sorry, sorry. Once more. Again, actually. <laughs> hey, keep that. Keep that. <laughs> Hello, everybody. And uh, happy weekend. I think we should crack this, uh, you know, awkward opening I was thinking. So I thought, like, I just practice those two lines. Hello, everybody. And hope you're having a good weekend. And uh, the, this is not weekend, but I think my episode is going to be weekend. Figured. <laughs> and then we have with us uh, Ravikant Perupu. Hello guys. Welcome, welcome Ravikant Perupu. Uh, Thanks for having me. National yeah. Award winner. Kaadu yeah. kaadu. <laughs> sorry, State Award winner. Nandi yeah, Award. Yeah. Nandi yeah. Award winner. Nandi Award winner, sorry. Yeah. For his first debut, uh, debut movie. Yeah, yeah, screenplay. Screenplay, yeah. Mm. So welcome Ravi. Welcome, thank you, welcome thank you. to our show. Dude, Permit that's what you practiced, you. <laughs> yeah. Little, little, got little, the little. fact wrong. <laughs> no, okay. no, no, no. Are. It was like head low, but it was like head low, but it was like head low. That's like head low, it was the shape of the national award was on Nandi only. Oh. But by the way, it came like national award annotation. It's like Nandi only. It's funny, I didn't get to see the Nandi award yet. Oh, no. Why? 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 Oh, okay. That's it. They Adi. announced. They, they told. announced, but they didn't get it. Announced. No, I didn't get it. But it's like this, but... Maybe it's not the case, but it's not the case. I don't know if it's Nandi award. Now, it's like... Hey, eight years old. Yeah, yeah, we should check Sesha's apartment, man. <laughs> Maybe he's telling people, hey, I got two Nandis. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sesha and I both wrote the screenplay together. Oh, you, it was a combined yeah. win? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so it so, went off to uh, his... I don't know. I don't know. You know what, what is funny? Have you ever been to like AMB fifth floor? Yeah. Oh. There some Nandi awards are kept. You might want to check. <laughs> ఫిల్మేకింగ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ Uh, so is man of uh, many hats man hats. who wears many hats yeah yeah but uh, i'm sure you've been asked many questions about your craft and your film journey and all of that uh, we are we will try to deviate away from that so sure. we offer all our guests one uh, opportunity mm. which is that if any question is uninteresting or boring please just say fuck this question Not let's go to, go to the next one okay and don't feel like you're going to hurt us or anything no no sure So because we get a lot of hate anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are... No, I remember your review for Krishnandi's Leela also. So. <laughs> <laughs> now I think it's my oh, turn. It's, yeah. yeah, it's time to give it back now. You can. Yeah, so please no, feel free. Yeah. And uh, also, I, uh, I proudly claim to be a journalism student. <laughs> so if the question is, fuck all, that means it's a reflection of... How my well? department, not me. Oh, my <laughs> college. <laughs> no, but yeah, so that is our thing. So if any point you feel like, no, I have answered this a lot. Just say it. Sure, okay. yeah. We will completely take yeah, it. Yeah. And uh, which brings me back to Krishna and his Dila, which I must tell you, upon further viewings, it kind of grew on me. I'm glad, man. Uh, which, I'm glad it did. <laughs> which I did mention, I think, in hmm. some of these things. But I did like what you... No, because the funny thing, uh, I love your reviews. I used to watch your channel for because I, whenever there is a bad film out, I want to see what Hrithar Ranjan spoke about it. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and then I was eagerly waiting for Krishna and his Leela's review. Because lockdown law. Sorry. Uh, I think yeah, lockdown law. Yeah, I have ah, this assumption that, uh, okay, maybe he must have loved it. We'll see what he says about it. Because mm. uh, we have, let's face the fact, we have very few who uh, review a film right. Mm. So you're one of them. So I was waiting for your review because mm. I was also talking to Shalini. Shalini was with you uh, mm. and she liked it and mm. yeah Shalini actually yeah, yeah. liked the movie yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. me and Shalini were writing uh, movie, uh, dialogues for unko uh, movie yeah. and uh, then we took reference we were are one thing we noticed in krishna and it's uh, krishna and his leela our conversations just flew yeah. like flowed like so organically ad etlo chindo etla achievation ro on spot improvisation ro telidu gaani we were are nerch call ra illa conversation raaste illa ra illa ni she had a very big uh, this thing appudu okay. appude we were at that point of time we were, we were writing dialogues edo oka film ki yeah and we took your movie as reference so i was kind But of put, put down <laughs> when your review came out mm-hmm. but that's that's fine ah, I've, i've gotten used to it. yeah you, you you like kind of this the movie or what Oh, yeah. yeah he wrote the film i don't know I mean, see, for I... most part because there was also a good part of his review because in the last half of the review he was actually 
mentioning mm-hmm. about the writing and the performances so mm-hmm. yeah, yeah maybe first time tagal de demo maybe it Emo, i feel like see i'm not trying to defend myself but i feel like there is an inherent flaw in the practice of reviewing a film also mm. which is that um it's not like a food review right like in the sense that food you eat you eat that's it yeah. there's nothing you take back but in movies being such a like powerful art form i feel like sometimes some movies when you come out your immediate feeling is like okay but then slowly you kind of you know it kind of grows on you but yeah. by then you have already reviewed reviewed it yeah. and i mean so that is a sort of a guilt that i carry uh, mm-hmm. you know with many movies yeah and your movies also one of those because yeah, okay. yeah. and that is a risk you take sometimes as somebody who's going for the joke right or trying to do a comical take is yeah. is that so that is something i will feel but if you haven't watched i'll do my bit now <laughs> if you haven't watched krishna and his leela ani Netflix lo untadu kada or did they Netflix take it out and put it on aha no both, Netflix both. Netflix and aha Netflix yeah. and aha yeah. okay yeah you can watch it and thanks uh, man yeah i mean Feel validated now yeah <laughs> <laughs> i am nobody to i have become a very humble man you know in the last one or two years because i am trying to do my own shit and i realize how much hard work it is it is right it is, yeah. especially for people like you who like are trying to do different things already Hmm, in yeah. an industry with set structures yeah yeah so uh, which uh, brings me to directly let me just pounce in uh, i think it's a question that santosh had yeah santosh. so uh, what we were we were discussing about you and nuvu and your friends shrikant gani aditya and tisukuna podu most of you guys you guys like write together edit each other stuff mm-hmm. avan cheskuntaru mm-hmm. but all your movies uh, are surrounded around uh, relationships hmm like banumati ramakrishna krishna yeah. is leela bubble yeah. gum disukuna gaani it's a modern age it's take a relationship on, drama oh. on a relationship drama no, no. Uh, or aditya also yeah so what is uh, you your gang and uh, relationships toti ela undi like how do you take i don't know put it in a better way <laughs> <laughs> no as in like it is <laughs> striking that you all work around like modern relationships like mm. urban relationships mm. to an extent mm. right oh, is there are, a particular are the vere, if you see any other like you know realistic uh, relationship dramas ekko levu manaku telugu rom coms or you can say telugu laite ekko levu keep aside bommarulu and all those but yeah. realistic uh, relationship dramas ekko levu kada yeah. so how do you guys inni uh, relationship one banavati ramakrishna is 30 plus oh Krishnan is Leela I kind of connect also and I have few doubts also yeah. uh, if a person why can't he love two people mm. <laughs> at the same time ani that's also uh, so how do you guys arrive at uh, like what are your personal i want to see your uh, uh, personal not your personal relationship yes what the fuck is that question man what are you fucking asking <laughs> like are you asking no. his take on no not yeah like your you and your friends personal take on relationship like because right. you define so many relationships in your uh-huh. movies kada uh-huh. uh-huh. so th- i think i think common Wait, factor the question yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. common <laughs> factor i think uh, maybe we all become friends for a reason kada same kind of uh, likes or dislikes or interest una and i think relationship dramas nain cheyadan at least reason i don't know about shrikant and uh, adi of course uh, they are my friends idantha unna i thought maybe uh, a lot of people can relate to relationship dramas hmm on a uh, audience uh, space lo ekko mandi relate avutund anna space lo this kind because I, i like a lot of other films also action hmm. films and hmm. dramas maybe ipudu aa chance dorkinde mo relationship drama cheyadaniki hmm and maybe chaala uh, roast chestam mem when we hang out uh-huh. like clichés and uh, the typical relationship uh, around what it could be advices it could be relationship cliches untai kada jala so alanti vaatla me maybe we roast a lot i think that's why that is we uh, have a different take on relationships and also mm-hmm. it's the kind of exposure and mm-hmm. experiences that we have kada individually mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so think, uh, among yeah. your friends who's a very good uh, uh, advisor who advisor gives, uh? Uh? i think shrikant 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 yeah who who wrote month month, month of, of madhu and banumati ramakrishna yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah he's also elder to us but uh, but i loved your work in uh, month of madhu man month of madhu thank you yeah it was like uh, for the longest time it was my film of the year and then it fell to second place because of my inherent love for like bias towards comedies a little bit and parishan kind of took over okay i haven't seen but parishan. i think you'll like parishan <laughs> man i will it I will is watch it. Uh, 
so but what i liked about month of madhu especially was that it had such a distinct edit style mm. that you could like it was one of those movies where the edit kind of uh, makes you sit up and take notice mm-hmm. now yeah. with that is that a thing because see i've heard a lot of editors say that you should not notice the editor if you didn't notice the editor means the editor did a good job mm. right mm. but your that film month of madhu work is just it just kind of is in your face all the time like it's yeah. one of like it is a very visible uh, craft in that movie what was yeah. what was your like edit see ethos? i can't take the credit entirely because it's a collaborative effort at the end of the day hmm. and because nenu shrikant uh, we are also friends so that gives us the freedom to hmm. uh, like do a trial and error we'll see how this cut is or if it's not working we'll just uh, you know trash the whole thing and recut again mm-hmm. so month of madhu process is ve- actually very satisfying and fun there are some uh, films that come your way mm-hmm. and you want to be a part of that story mm-hmm. however way possible and i like editing personally so uh, that was that was completely new because he shot all three tracks separately uh, the past uh, story that happens between navin and swati mm-hmm. in the flashback and the present whatever divorce story that is going through uh, mm-hmm. between the, going on between them and the shreyas track so he shot three tracks parallelly mm-hmm. and uh, it was kind of made on the edit table we, they, he had a rough one line order as in how it starts off how the interval uh, or how the interval was also actually found for uh, theaters we didn't have mm-hmm. the plan for interval it was actually a full uh, okay full two hour whatever chiller kattadi okay chiller ante 2 hour <laughs> plus chiller but yeah so i think uh, adi uh, collaborative effort lo it just came out so brilliantly and i i'm i was actually very nervous pe janal ela iskuntaru maybe this whole back and forth thing adu too much ayipothunda janal ki maybe mm-hmm. digest avutunda leda that was your call completely no no both of us both yeah both of us so he, you went according to the script or you no, had no, no, different not at all no no not at all oh uh-huh. and shrikant is uh, is the kind of a filmmaker who won't give the actors the lines until they come onto the set oh so if the actor ki pitch chesina appudu kuda nee nee character ki nee entha theliyalo ante pitch chestadu he won't tell them the entire story mm-hmm. uh, why is that like, any oh. particular reason and because when a character is playing something mm. he doesn't know what the filmmaker is trying to say or what the story is going around kada okay so atan ga ant information telistene adi a performance ant genuine vastadani correct mm mm cinema lo mm mm atan ga ant information teliyalo aa scene lo because overall jeppte maybe overthinking i over uh, over perform chestade mo mm. same way adi uh, same reason he won't give the lines also to the actors uh, before and oh, okay. to come prepared okay. so navin swati shreya they all used to be on their toes and so everything is like like workshop laga generally yeah. people do workshop and come prepared atla asara atla gada workshop so, uh, workshop avale because navin swati obviously they are uh, seasoned mm-hmm. actors mm-hmm. but uh, the briefing shrikant gave was too much ante he'll give he'll talk days together about the character about their life which is not going to be in the film essentially mm-hmm. but chaala history istadu characters ki all of us in mm-hmm. fact, me too but, oh nice So the other question I had was generally a lot of people who are editors mm. they look at it as a step stepping stone to becoming a director eventually yeah i mean not all but i like quite a few like if you see raju hirani was an editor yeah mm. uh, who else david dhawan i think these are the two most popular people from fti okay. they also became uh, directors you also directed a movie but yeah. after yeah. directing a movie you still do editing no i was uh, i was the editor on shanam also Yeah. Oh, you were the editor on Shanam also. Yeah, yeah. But one of the editors or one of the editors. One uh, of the editors. Yeah. Uh, me and another. Krishna and Lila Kuda, you yeah, yeah, partly yeah. edited, right? Yeah, yeah. Siddhu yeah. also edited, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Siddhu, yeah. So hands on, like, but no, almost we cut it together. The calls. We cut it together. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. We cut it together. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, the, like, editing seems like your first love. Like, it is your like. Main no, no, no. Writing is my first love. Writing. Yeah, right. Mm. Writing is. Okay, okay. When you say love, it it has a lot of emotion attached to it. Yeah. So I think it's writing for me. and what mm. what about writing because i feel like a lot of people want to be writers if you see yeah. there is something about like saying you are a writer yeah right but what for you is really right like what is the most enjoyable part of writing for you uh getting lost ante getting lost and if you have an idea or a thread that you want to build hmm. i just get lost i just look at the ceiling and just get lost 
Mm-hmm. I like to live in that world, the dream world. Okay. Uh, oh, lost in the thought. Lost in the thought. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The chain reaction that happens for uh, thought. Mm. I just go to like to take that and go. Mm-hmm. So I like to get lost in that world. Okay. And see where it takes me. Okay. And I feel it's very, it's like therapy to me, and because a lot of uh, things probably that are blocking your flow or chi or energy, whatever you call it. Mm. Uh, I believe there is there is certain magic ha- that happens when uh, when you write something down. Mm-hmm. So you're giving an outlet to something inside uh, you. inside you, and it'll actually help you. So you just if i i feel if if people don't have any vent or if they think that nobody gets me i think writing is one thing that will help them for sure okay yeah. and uh, writing uh, ritual emana unda like a process no 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 so adaithe okkade pettukole because that is one thing i didn't want to uh, i didn't want to make it look like work mm-hmm. okay so adu enduku malli work anni danni chuste koncham dantlo passion tagipothademo so i just uh, take it as it comes and then like once oxar start and then till yeah, the yeah. flow like stops you just keep going yeah, yeah. usually early mornings are my uh, best time time best time mm-hmm. early mornings as in can you describe like a productive day in your writing life like i'm just curious sometimes i wake up by 4 5 o'clock shrikanth and me for, for example before month of madhu happened mm-hmm. there was a time where we used to wake up at 4 o'clock catch up mm-hmm. uh, catch the sunrise somewhere uh, boulders the record we mm-hmm. discuss a lot mm-hmm. of stuff because mm-hmm. you are fresh in the morning and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. fresh thoughts uh, fresh thoughts untai kada you are not disturbed by the day mm-hmm. correct so our times are uh, productive untai so busy mm-hmm. day writing would be like wake up at 5 in the morning start writing until like 8:30 9 pen or no no i, I write on the laptop nice huh. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and then pen pen notes avi thoughts untai and then probably mm-hmm. chill watch a film some something like that okay listen to music watch a film sleep again mm-hmm. sleep i think if you go to sleep and get up i think uh, it's like a restart a little reset mm-hmm. and then you can write again power naps yeah yeah mm-hmm. sometimes maybe have a drink and write mm-hmm. yeah koncham appudu inko inkola yeah koncham high ta gelina appudu vere vere untadi meter that's also on correct then check back sober if it's still working again you come back after you malla yeah, sober ayindartho yeah. mal check chestu kon kon saalu high medu unnapudu normal ideas kuda full excite chestu oh no 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 yeah actually there is a quote by ernest hemingway which says write drunk edit sober Uh, since you are a writer and editor i wonder <laughs> how that goes for you <laughs> that's yeah. a thin line hmm. <coughs> but that's interesting man that that you chose not to have any structure for that uh, particular yeah, because yeah. everything else i think you need a structure as an editor yeah when i'm making hmm. a film it's structured obviously i have to go to an office of a, or a hmm. workspace work there for like 10 or 12 hours a day and i think obviously administrative one i think film making direction lo gochin tarata correct i think writing is one part where it is unadulterated by anybody else's opinions mm-hmm. or validations correct first you can just say what you want to say and if people don't don't like it then maybe take it from there okay and uh, i'm sorry if this uh, is it's not a very deep question but i generally like asking people who write professionally what is the screenplay writing software that you use fdx uh, final draft fdx final draft team final draft yeah. mm. because i was with celtex for a long time but fuck celtex <laughs> yeah. hey, do, do you think celtex will become our sponsor at any point <laughs> even at, even till krishnan is leela huh. but for bubble gum i moved on to final draft i yeah. find it much better yeah mm. did you get the paid version premium yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah of course even i got it <laughs> <laughs> no but celtex now limited the idi kada they got yeah, they the website lo gelli login avvali ah you have to do it online cloud ai pen mottham yeah, yeah cloud, cloud and only one screenplay in the free version Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Earlier it was three at least. No, one even one even uh, final draft also, uh, you have to take a premium version. Uh, free version, I have like some five six emails, hmm. like to which no, you have one. No, that is trial month. version. The trial version. Then one there month. is also crack version if you don't have ethics. Not that I uh-huh. I have, but crack yeah, there version, is. No? Yeah, yeah. I don't. And write, then, but but I like FDX man. FDX is FDX the is yeah. it, it's hmm. like there is one more. If you are like if you don't have budget, uh, it's called Writer Do It, which is this cloud based uh, free software thing. script writing software which yeah that's it that was the plug in <laughs> okay yeah no mm-hmm. but uh, can we discuss uh, month of madhu a little more sure yeah yeah so month of madhu uh, my favorite bits in the whole movie mm. were those uh, harsha's bits harsha's yeah, yeah. monologues monologues yeah. 
విచ్ వర్ జస్ట్ అంటే ఐ హ్యావ్ నెవర్ సీన్ ఎనీథింగ్ లైక్ దాట్ బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఇట్ డస్ నాట్ లుక్ లైక్ అ డైలాగ్ అండ్ ఇట్ జస్ట్ యు నో లైక్ it flows it is like peeling off layers of all of our like see we all are at some level Correct we feel way. maybe not as much as that guy is saying it out yeah yeah mm-hmm. but there is parts of vaiva harsha drunk vaiva harsha in mm-hmm. all of us yeah. in us and in our friends under chuttu yeah so yeah. that's what so and one as a director to let him just go right because there's no filtering in that man like the kind of things he's saying are yeah. just and i think the film got an adult rating just because of those scenes yeah yeah right there is nothing else adult nothing about else. that movie yes, yeah. so so the uh, decision at a writing directing level and an edit level to keep it and not cut it what was that like i think uh, shrikanth harsha kitchen brief ante nu enta digajaru bagalo anta digajaru bo unnadu character ki mm. like that was his first brief for harsha and harsha being this phenomenal guy he is very good with his acting mm. he's a great performer so i think uh, there were bullet points for shrikant you have to say this jim gel tadogadu mm. uh, most cliche em untundo adi maatladu ilani kind of it, it was kind of 50 50 for shrikant and harsha and he just went on once the camera switched on i think it has a lot to do with harsha's uh, ability mm. to actually understand that character or choose untadu alan manush obviously man andaru chusaru and akada vizak lo already baga so i think uh, the harsha presence of mind as as an actor Uh, writing or imagining that kind of a character is something and hmm. actually playing that character correct is something and i think he got it right mag edit lo chustunappudu kuda uh when you build a scene right you you build like okay basics ko chesthe oka wide shot or depending on the scene you open on a close up or something like that you'll construct a scene hmm. so when i was when i got these rushes there was just uh, two ranges of the same thing two or three ranges of the same shot and in each take uh, harsha's dialogue was different because it is an improv <laughs> it's improv okay. it's improv and it's uh, yeah. it, mm. writing ant completely led not everything is written mm. so okka dantlo okka okka dialogue vastundi so i'm not able to match any shot uh-huh. so match it and try chesthe andulo unna feel pothundi so that's so why you kept a single we kept a single shot uh, t- shot all together oh. and that way it also gives us uh, కొంచెం ఆ సింగిల్ టేక్ లో అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఏంటంటే ఇట్ విల్ టేక్ యూ ఇన్ టు ద ప్లేస్ కరెక్ట్ అండ్ టూ పీపుల్ ఆర్ డ్రింకింగ్ ఇట్ విల్ టేక్ యూ ఇన్ టు దట్ ప్లేస్ అండ్ పక్కన కూర్చోబెడతాయి తీసుకెళ్లి యా సో అది వర్క్ అవుట్ అయింది యాక్చువల్లీ యా వెరీ వెల్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇన్ దట్ మూవీ యూ గెట్ టు సీ ద బ్యూటీ ఆఫ్ సింగిల్ టేక్ లైక్ యు సెడ్ జనరలీ వి యూస్ సింగిల్ టేక్ ఫర్ దోస్ అంటే దట్ విల్ బి బిహైండ్ ద హీరో అండ్ హి విల్ బి వాకింగ్ అండ్ వి యూస్ ఇట్ బట్ దిస్ మూవీ ద సింగిల్ టేక్ షార్ట్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఇమర్ బికాస్ ద సౌండ్ డిజైన్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో బ్యూటిఫుల్ యు కెన్ హియర్ ద సి యు కెన్ హియర్ దోస్ లైక్ షింక్ సౌండ్ సౌండ్ సింక్ సౌండ్ యా ఇట్ ఇస్ యాక్లు సింక్ సౌండ్ అచీవ్ చేశారు అంటే యా వైసాక్ లు బ్రెడీ ఈజీ యా ఇట్స్ అ సైలెంట్ ప్లేస్ మ్యాన్ ఇట్స్ ఓన్లీ ఇఫ్ యు గో ఆన్ టు ద బీచ్ మెయిన్ రోడ్ గోల్ ఉంటుంది గాని ఇఫ్ యు గో ఈ రెసిడెన్షియల్ ఏరియాస్ లో వెళ్తే చాలా సైలెంట్ ఉంటుంది అవునా విచ్ బ్రింగ్స్ మీ టు మై నెక్స్ట్ పాయింట్ విచ్ ఐ ఫెల్ట్ పర్సనలీ ఐ డోంట్ నో ఇఫ్ అదర్స్ ఫెల్ట్ ఇట్ బట్ in month of madhu you kind of feel a tear to suffocation in the whole movie hmm. right in the sense that the whole movie is just about guys stuck in that like you know it's the same friends group it is the same and it is also like without this guy's knowledge harsha has influenced him yeah and he has influenced harsha and it is never mm. discussed and they don't blame it also they don't they don't even know they it for know. all you know no, right they, they haven't even realized also. and not a lot of people got it like mm. you got it mm-hmm. because we were hoping for these little nuances to like mm. reach a, a larger audience mm-hmm. but uh, i think maybe uh, when you watch the film again twice or thrice we'll notice mm. other details it'll grow yeah once yeah. it it'll spread through word of mouth and people will yeah, see yeah. they'll see repeatedly asking because he's good for his or? ego navin ego ki harsha character yeah mm. he's always boosting his ego correct, constantly correct. Uh-huh. yeah and that's why he's uh, with him yeah manaki ipudu there is another friend bar lo gochi manchi chestadu nachatledra nu ani chepte vaadu meedu arustadu tirigi oh no no harsha never did that harsha was always good for this guy's ego that's why he's still friends with that guy Hmm. and Which maybe for harsha sigo that guy is good uh, yeah. navin because he doesn't talk only yeah. he's just listening yeah. all the time yeah. 
in fact if you see navin uh, navin's reactions yeah. in those it's amazing dude yeah. half the times he's looking somewhere else yeah. and then he nods like uh, <laughs> and then again he goes and it was just so beautiful like at one point it was scary because i was a very he- heavy drinker okay. right and it like i believe all substances are an amusement park you mm. should go take a ride yeah. on, on each of them mm. but alcohol is just it is fucking you know it will seem like a swing but it will become a roller coaster yeah and suddenly it is a you know bullet shot to the head it's just yeah. so yeah. unpredictable man it's like more unpredictable than magic mushrooms i think personally mm. alcohol and that movie and the way you guys shoot those drinking scenes it seems like a disease i think i said this in my review also it is actually a disease right and it seems like a disease that there is no cure for yeah. and just that fucking the desolate nature of drinking and alcoholism that you both brought out was just so amazing i loved month of madhu man it was Thanks. so beautiful yeah. it was so beautiful but which brings me to my more personal question you both come from vizag no, no, shrikant is from hyderabad but his from parents from live in vizag okay okay i'm from vizag you are from vizag mm. and most of your batch people are yeah, from yeah. vizag me aditya vimal who directed digital mm. uh harsha harsha yeah. and mm. then there is even uh, shrichan pakala the music director shrichan so, uh, pravin yeah. kandragula yeah pravin mm. all of these uh, yeah, yeah. people come from vizag and now mm. that you've been in the city for like i think a decade now yeah yeah more than 11 years now yeah. what is your relationship with your hometown because i'll give you something uh, i'll tell you why i am asking this because uh, the two cities that i kind of grew up in were uh, one was where my parents were odisha bhubaneswar okay. which is like a tier 2 tier 3 and a half 4 very I close don't to vizag very close to vizag and yeah. vizag is the other city because my cousins right. my mother side everybody was in vizag mm. so my summer holidays were mostly between bhubaneswar and vizag okay so now not so much about vizag but when i go back to bhubaneswar now i know that i'm supposed to feel a certain love for the place you mm. know nostalgia and all but all i feel is a certain suffocation after a point mm. of being like you know of trying to imagine what my life would have i mean with no disrespect i'm just yeah, saying yeah, yeah what is your equation with vizag like how how same actually ipudu if hadn't we moved to hyderabad month of madhulo navin character la undi pevalle mama engudu vizag lo adhe naaku kuda adhe and i felt yeah, that's yeah. why it was so See, scary that lifestyle kuda chaala caribbean lifestyle untundi vizag lo it's ah, laid back mm, yeah. my uncles and all when they when they used to work now they retired but when they go for work they used to come home for lunch take a nap same yeah, odisha so, odisha culture also yeah, is that yeah so 3 o'clock People you go back are. to office again yeah. work for two more hours come back yeah what so, a beautiful so, time beautiful, it was beautiful lifestyle and like in the tv like harris jarad songs would be playing yeah, yeah, and yeah. you're just like chilling yeah, yeah it was a good yeah. time to advise again like i feel like at least the time that i kind of visited vizag or whatever lived there during my summer holidays i think that was the best time in vizag which was like 2004 5 to yeah. 2014 15 when internet had come and still yeah. vizag had that little bit of you mm. know that old mm. world thing yeah. i i think that was uh, yeah i think 90s and 2000s were the best time growing up in a city like vizag yeah man mm. you so had a lot of beautiful. time you had a lot of because i used to live very close to the beach aha uh-huh. so, which which area in vizag uh, uda park digra oh, okay so, uda park was like my childhood fantasy place yeah yeah, yeah. So it's very close to that place so i grew up there baiti galal ante obviously beach kanipistadi correct and uh, after was mm-hmm. me then third year engineering lo me and adi uh, mm-hmm. adi who directed hostel days in red pixels mm-hmm. so uh, we used to go on jogs every evening and appudu we were discussing are ipudu ikkada unte mana ikkade undipothamu inga ardham avuthundi kada we won't have any kind of we, because by then only we are we started discussing on stories we wanted to become filmmakers mm-hmm. so it was like first time ipodam ikkanchi because we love the place so much that if i go stay there for a couple of weeks it will pull me back it's like this warm hole mm. yeah lages the malli mottham that to vizag is so beautiful you just feel yeah. like relaxing there then ok sare i was just i just been to vizag last year 2023 lo it is so relaxed em le asa cheyadan kuda like no one is like pushing you from behind yeah. like opposite yeah. to bombay felt like enko nunchi evaro push chestunnaru nenu po paisa lo anje paisa lo anje but exactly yeah. funny thing i went to bombay once after a I grew up as an adult I didn't go to Bombay again but the f- only for a couple of days that I was there I woke up at 9:30 and I felt left out and you know what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying yeah like a lazy <laughs> asshole yeah, you feel 9:30 late in the rata and when I when I went to bed and when I went to bed and feeling ochindi because the city is 
Yeah. Rushing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. That way Hyderabad also is a little piece yeah. of culture. Yeah. It's in the middle. It's, it's like middle. Yeah. Uh, it's not yeah. very bad. Yeah. It's fine. Mm-hmm. And the other thing about Vizag is that every place is like 10-15 minutes from each other. Exactly. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. no, like, there's mm-hmm. no place far off. It's not yeah. like going to Charminar or something. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And then also I, what I particularly like is, uh, like, there is the hills. Yeah. There is the so there is no Vizag people. You cannot ask them, are you mountain person or beach person? Yeah, yeah. Because, because on the are, mountain you can see the yeah, beach. Yeah, you can see the beach from the beach. You can see the mountain. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's a hill. Yeah, it's a hill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it is so beautiful, man. It there is. is something now. Actually, when I go to Vizag, I feel kind of like you know a pain nostalgia, in the sense that I feel like this is so beautiful that I I'll probably come here when I'm old. Mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. i feel like that like maybe when i'm yeah. 50 if i live up till that age right. i'll probably go there but there is something so beautiful about that place it, man it has something a lot to do with how uh, it shaped us as people mm-hmm. because i think uh, in college go to go we have no place beach or whatever mm-hmm. yeah. wake up just hang out there until we get bored mm. and i think something to do with that breeze. so your college everything akade yeah yeah so up how was like how vizag like how is like dating culture <laughs> I'll tell you what the youth are always like talking about uh, no, navy aunties <laughs> for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> At least my cousin was like, "Hey, navy auntie." I don't know what is the fascination with navy aunties. No, also because akada navy ball, navy ball and tar gada. Navy is ball is uh, it's crazy in Vizag. Hmm. What is uh, navy ball? Navy ball valki every December annually. Oh, that uh, they have uh, a ball show and all that. No, 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 that's. No, no. Uh, that's oh, like a navy show. Uh, like you have in high school ball. Yeah, something like that, but. వాళ్ళ క్లబ్లో వాళ్ళ నేవీ క్లబ్లో బాల్ అయ్యేది అనమాట గ్రోయింగ్ అప్ ఇట్ యూస్ టు బి అ బిగ్ థింగ్ అమ్మాయిలు బాగుంటారు బట్ వైజాగ్ ఇస్ అ బ్యూటిఫుల్ సిటీ టు బీ ఇన్ లవ్ విత్ ఐ ఫీల్ లైక్ Like if you are in love with somebody and you are in Vizag, it is the fucking... Like you've seen this movie Midnight in Paris. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, f- I get the same kind of vibes on it. Yeah, it's like you've gone to the 90s, yeah. no? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, that's yeah. so true. 90s and how uh, Ma- Woody Allen is in love with New York. Yeah. He's obsessed with New York in his own, all, all his films. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now I feel like if I go to Vizag and if I'm not like with somebody I'm... like with then right. it feels like i'm getting the second experience <laughs> you know what i mean it's yeah. like watching a movie when you're high and then watching it again when you're not high yeah mm-hmm. it is still the same movie but yeah. it is so uh, it's like a romantically inclined uh, place like best place to be uh, when you are with someone i feel i feel like because it's like every 10 minutes there is something nice you know and there is like it seems like a city where you can hold somebody's hand and mm-hmm. have a conversation mm-hmm. or something i don't know maybe i'm over romanticizing it But Vizag has that sort of a personality. Well, Vizag is full of my boys. I, no, I don't like the romantic memories that I made in Vizag. <laughs> <laughs> Which is but why you mem- wrote all the movies. Yeah, but the memories <laughs> with my boys are the best in Vizag. We uh-huh. go around drives in Beamly Beach Road. Mm-hmm. So you have any memories with Permit Room and your gang? And then? Permit room, you know what is permit room? Permit room is like a... Ah, uh, there's uh, a permit room? Bar Pakana. Bar Pakana is small. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. There's a lot of people, I'm sure. There's yeah. a yeah, lot yeah. uh-huh. of permit room. Le, we used to just dra- randomly drive into hills and pick a spot and sit uh-huh. down there. Uh-huh. Car trunk open. Yeah, yeah, the whole city is a permit uh, city, man. <laughs> if you think city. about it. <laughs> yeah. You can drink anywhere, actually. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And there's like three beaches. That's fucking illegal, dude. Like one city cannot have three fucking beaches. Yeah. I think Modi government should take away one and <laughs> bring it. Right. Right. <laughs> agar kuch ho jab beech mein the you can buy yeah, and yeah. sit and oh yeah, yeah. no alcohol ah uh-huh. no no alcohol is not allowed alcohol is not alcohol allowed is not, allowed. not even you can like hide night. and you can hide and probably sneak it sit, in ha huh. but now because of like the last time i went because of all these instagram reels or whatever tiktoks and all like there's a lot of people coming and making videos so the police checking has gotten even more strict oh. especially around that uh, rk rishikonda beach area yeah yeah, yeah. it has gotten little strict but still so fucking beautiful man yeah. so fucking photogenic the city Mm-hmm. it's just beautiful anyway sorry that was my jacking off to my Vizag my section. first <laughs> awareness of uh, vizag city uh, is from the movie jambalakadi pamba uh-huh. and lo vizag city mottam like uh, lockdown i pen it's like yeah, yeah. it's like lockdown no one is supposed to enter and city lo allakalon i pen the full little tankers lo that is like chinna put chusina pudu that is my first memory about oh shit vizag lo illa ayundachu ayundachemo maybe and like apura i didn't know like fictiona like with the real story i am telling you kada 
అవుతుంది అవుతుంది అంటే ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ చిన్నప్పుడు మూవీస్ చూస్తేనే ఐ షుడ్ లైక్ థింక్ అరే స్క్రీన్ అనుకాల వెంకటేష్ జాయిన్ చేస్తుండే అనుకునేటోని మా కరీంనగర్ వచ్చి స్క్రీన్ అనుకాల వెంకటేష్ సినిమా మీకు స్కేర్ ఉందా నాకు రియల్ స్కేర్ ఉంది ఒక బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ స్కోర్ వస్తుంది ఆ సినిమాలో ఓ దట్ జయలలిత అది జయలలిత షీఈస్ ద డాన్ డ్రింకింగ్ ఎవ్రీబడి ఈస్ డ్రింకింగ్ దట్ వాటర్ దట్ వాటర్ ఒక క్లైమాక్స్ లో ఎప్పుడు ఒక సీరియస్ మ్యూజిక్ వచ్చేది బట్ ఐస్ ఆల్వేస్ సే దట్ యు నో లైక్ వైజాక్ హస్ సో మచ్ పర్సనాలిటీ దట్ ఇట్ హస్ 3 నేమ్స్ విజయనగరం నే నాట్ విజయనగరం విశాఖపట్నం విశాఖపట్నం వాల్టర్ వైజాక్ వాల్టర్ వాల్టర్ వాస్ లైక్ ప్లేస్ నో యా సమ్ వాల్టర్ ఇస్ లైక్ దేర్ వాస్ అపారెంట్లీ సమ్ బ్రిటిష్ జనరల్ యా ఆర్ సమ్ నేమ్స్ వాల్టర్ వాల్టర్ సో నౌ దే హావ్ లైక్ పెద్ద వాల్టర్ చిన్న వాల్టర్ యా యా sort of areas but why they also is a combination of put gajwaka is also part of like yeah, now yeah. ibrahim patnam uh, yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. itla serigam palli laga yeah. gajwaka tagar gajwaka sir. then uh, walter is like that one more place walter used to be the center the oh, center. station the Back railway then. station area was called walter oh, if oh, i'm oh. not wrong right railway station no that's uh, that's somewhere near uh, after crossing dwarka nagar okay railway station area <laughs> okay that's the station area okay okay hmm But yeah, that was Vizak, man. But and how was, how was movie something. watching culture in Vizak? Because Jagadamba Center, how many movies are you watching? Hardcore fan, uh, fandom. Huh. Yeah, I was growing up, I was, I'm still a hardcore Chiranjeevi fan. Mega uh-huh. star. Yeah, yeah. So, all first day for sure. All first day, first day, first show. Hmm. And uh, also, when I was in the age of the day, it was uh, PSPK. Mm-hmm. So, and cinema, I was in the age of the day. Yeah, same theme, line theme i think i list. i travel the same line kakpothi ikkada telangana lo ah. while you were doing in vaisak ikkada manaki inga appudu options kuda levu kada cinema tappa that, ah. that was the only form of entertainment, entertainment that we had. Down, down. wait so much for the release and a release unko 50 days 100 days varaku untunde yeah ah. so there also you have like jagadamba kachithanga only chiranjeevi movies iskuntundi yeah. then uh, unko yeah, yeah. jagadamba chiranjeevi cinema iskuntadu ah. ha like here so all film. big stars films actually big stars so salara anta kuda mm mm-hmm. I remember my cousin, like, so I didn't grow up with that much film culture. I grew up in Puttavarthi, where there's okay. like no movies, it's all like okay. Sai Baba and all. Mm, I know, of so when I used to come to holidays, my cousin was like a huge fan of uh, Pawan Galyan. Mm. So same journey, like started with Chiranjeevi and then, you know, passed mm. on the bit into the younger brother. So he had his group of friends and I would always ask them because I started working very early, right? So by then I was working in like some call center job or something. and i was fascinated by these guys who had no like nothing they were not studying or working or it was like life was just about like you know playing a cricket match in that like a bet match in the yeah yeah uh-huh. like so uh, they were in mvp call mm. so i asked one guy what do you do he's like i work in common man production force and i was like what oh. the fuck is common man <laughs> production <laughs> like a, you know like an international peacekeeping force tagore yeah but there was a common man production force no, no, which was, was uh, pawan kalyan yeah, 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 yeah all yeah. fanboys were uh, the, yeah. so so they would protect like from eve teasing or something yeah. so it was uh-huh. like vigilantes in a way mm-hmm. but like a proper like papa na maavka eating vigilantes who were like <laughs> scared at home so yeah, yeah. that was uh, that was i feel like that was what vaisak was man you could yeah. get away with like just protecting common you have man a lot of time Yeah. <laughs> Connecting common man, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Sorry, I keep going back to Vizag. I feel like I have a bit of a thing. But, uh, uh, like, growing up, was it uh, Telugu cinema that you grew up on? Was yeah. it mostly? Telugu cinema, until a point where my brother introduced me to uh, English films. Mm. This was in my intermediate. Okay. Until mm-hmm. long ago, I started watching all Nolan films. Prestige. Mm. Prestige was a big influence. Uh, Memento. correct and started from there and akkad nunchi inka you will become yeah. this uh, film nerd mm. where uh, you download all mm. all your uh, favorite directors filmography and yeah. watch one by one analyze everything mm. correct and so what's your favorite uh, nolan movie nolan film huh? i think interstellar no dark knight dark knight dark knight yeah. okay dark okay night. for me it is interstellar prestige Okay. Mm. I feel like prestige is not spoken about like it's not his like big budget I spectacle know. yeah but it's but it's a masterpiece yeah it's like an indian mm. movie in a way man all this like twists and turns I feel and dark knight is more like our uh, commercial, commercial yeah it's a commercial, commercial movie yeah it's a commercial mm. film but yeah. it has great uh, characters yeah mm. and uh, who who else do you watch like when you are not working um Martin like any Scorsese. other favorite filmmakers Martin Scorsese mm-hmm. uh K Vishwanath garu mm-hmm. Mr Mani Ratnam mm-hmm. yeah we will be the biggest influences okay mm. 
వరకు బట్ వెన్ యూ వెన్ యూఆర్ వాచింగ్ ఇప్పుడు ఇంటర్మీడియట్ వరకు ఉడియాలన్ సారీ ఉడియాలన్ నో వెన్ నువ్వు ఇంటర్ ఇంటర్ వరకు వెన్ యూఆర్ వాచ్ అప్పుడు తెలుగు సినిమాలు చూసినప్పుడు దట్ టైం ఆ టైమ్ లో హూ వాజ్ యువర్ లైక్ ఫేవరెట్ ఫిల్మ్ మేకర్ అప్పట్లోనా అప్పట్లో అంత డైరెక్టర్ మనకంత హీరోలే అప్పుడు హీరోలే అప్పుడు యా మోస్ట్లీ హీరో అప్పుడు అప్పటికి మేబీ మణిరత్నం గారి మూవీస్ ఎక్కువ అంటే యాజ్ అ ఫిల్మ్ మేకర్ ఫిల్మ్ మేకర్ నచ్చదు శేఖర్ కమల శేఖర్ కమల యా బికాస్ ఐ వాజ్ ఇట్ వాజ్ అన్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ వాచింగ్ ఆనంద్ ఐ రిమెంబర్ ఇన్ వైజ్ ఐ అవును ఆనంద్ వాజ్ దిస్ వెరీ యూనిక్ ఫిల్మ్ అండ్ ట్యాగ్ లైన్ కూడా మంచి కాఫీ లాంటి మంచి కాఫీ లాంటి సినిమా అండ్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ దట్ వాజ్ సమ్ ఇట్ ఫెల్ట్ లైక్ నెవర్ బిఫోర్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఆనంద్ చూడడం బికాస్ ఐ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఐ హెవెంట్ సీన్ యాక్టర్స్ టాక్ సో రియల్ ఇన్ ఫిల్మ్స్ Hmm. before then i think epudu oh, no. change avutho achu correct correct hmm. i think there was this one filmmaker who changed it from time to time hmm. yeah every season but i think anand for that time hmm. was beautiful correct anand movie climax as climax as the name interval was the most surprising interval for me and also the end also like appar daka we got used to interval and it padthadi like stamp some twist edo act 1 akkada end ayipoy act 2 reveal aitadi edo akkada start aitadi But uh, this is like slowly tell them that I'm going to cut it. It's a coffee break. No, no, no. I had mm-hmm. to go, then I had to go to the movie. Yeah. yeah. There's a nice softness to his movies, man. Yeah, yeah. You just feel like, you know, meeting a friend. It's not like exactly. meeting the principal or it's yeah, not that yeah, intense. Yeah. 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 That sensitivity is in the human being. It's in the human being. And they make films like that. I think even Tarun has the kind of same, same kind of sensitivity. Yeah. yeah. Correct. And uh, like uh, talking of your journey, so you're a guy who grew up in Vizak, yeah. watched movies in and out. Did you have any other interests? Yeah, yeah I used to play the guitar. I still play the guitar. Mm-hmm. Uh, sing. Yeah. Harsha told me about your band. Yeah, yeah. The... What, 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 what about the band? Name. The Instigators. Instigators. What, what, what? Tell, tell about it. Ain't it? Yeah. We were just jobbers. Vizak, lo, Vizak lo. found inter, a band. Yeah. Inter hmm. IPN, after that, after that, there was this Bever spirit. Hmm. Engineering joined in six months. Okay, six months. Yeah. Huh. Six months, lo, basically, we didn't know what to do. We wanted attention, female attention, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Yeah. So, at that time, lo, Apad, you knew Harsha? Yeah, yeah, Harsha was oh. my inter-classmate, inter-first year. Oh, oh, okay. Huh. So, what was the band like? Who were the members? You were the... Me, Harsha. Harsha was the rapper. I was the guitarist. There was... <laughs> there was another guy. His name is Rahul. He's also a guitarist. No, I mean, on YouTube, you put up... No, no, no. No, no. You think I'll let it happen? No, no. He edited it out even. from YouTube. The <laughs> short films are only going to delete just on YouTube. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Clean sweep. I don't think I'll let it happen. No, but I remember that was the time when bands could have a rapper. It was a legit thing. Yeah. Right? So like, you guys... And Vizag had it, this band culture. But because Sri Charan, uh, uh-huh. music director, his band was like one of the top, top bands. bands yeah. And uh-huh. they used to play heavy metal. Oh. Like, go into proper death metal. And mm-hmm. there were a lot of classic rock bands. And we had a lot of culture. So we wanted, we wanted attention. So we jammed for about like two months. we mm. did a little show in one club uh-huh. and then anta ipen it did which is dead after dead after that and i had a band in my college so i gave a couple of shows for my annual annual, annual day performances yeah. and all that it and continued mal engineering lo it didn't continue. engineering lo engineering, engineering lo uh, college band unde inkoti aha uh-huh. appudu maybe uh, once a year alla jam chese vallam oka few weeks atla ga mm-hmm. but then pretty much a banding kala ipen didn't but, instigate much no <laughs> Absolutely. We wanted something cool. Yeah. Instigators. Uh-huh. All we played was... Uh, Let me guess. Smoke on the Water. Smoke on the Water was in my college. Okay. Because that was the easy yeah. riff to play. Da, da, da. Yeah. And... Uh, First day of my life... Da, 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 da. What song is that? Those are the best days. Like Summer of 69. Summer no, no. of 69. First day of my life... నిర్వాణ స్మెల్స్ లైక్ టీన్ స్పిరిట్ ఆర్ సంథింగ్ అండ్ ఇన్ ది ఎండ్ లింకిన్ పార్క్ లింకిన్ పార్క్ ఓ షెడ్ సో హర్షా వాజ్ హర్షా వాజ్ యాక్చువల్లీ సింగింగ్ ఇన్ ది ఎండ్ యా మ్యాన్ దట్స్ నైస్ థింగ్ బికాస్ ఇన్ ది ఎండ్ ఇట్ డిన్ మ్యాటర్ ఆల్సో ది రాస్మస్ ఫస్ట్ డే ఆఫ్ మై లైఫ్ యా మ్యాన్ ద ఇమో రాక్ ఎరా యా Yeah. I used to also relate to that pain, you know? 
Finally, I was on a fuck call, 1800 rupees job in Bhumneshwar. And these were American kids talking about like, you know, being disillusioned with the world and war and shit. <laughs> but you emoted with them. You're like, yeah, baby, let's go. But the first song I connected also was to Hoopstank's Reasons. Who was yeah. that? Oh, the Tank. reason. Yeah. My the God. reason. Like for no reason, like, I didn't have any girlfriend <laughs> but anyone, but for no reason I connected with like, the reason is to believe. I connected to Summer of 69. Uh-huh. And That's a like, nice song. Yeah, it's a nice song, but I mean, it has nothing to do with us, right? I don't yeah. know. There was one more band called Blue. You remember Blue? Yeah. It's like... Uh, one, one Love. One Love. One love. Yeah. love. So, one. funnily, now, whenever I play badminton, every time the match starts, so I have the habit of keeping the score. You know, one guy has mm-hmm. to, you know, mm-hmm. keep the score in yeah. every sport. So, every time the match starts... One, one, it'll be one love, right? Somebody yeah. will win the first point. And every one time love. I announce it as one love, <laughs> nobody acknowledges it. Just goes to it. Yeah. But running a band must have been insane. Dude, that's something I was like too shy to do. But it was always something that I had as a desire yeah. to have a band. I think yeah. our I think our consciousness is yeah. We didn't care what people would think. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But uh, people must have... Thought. Been really disturbed <laughs> by our no, band's yeah. performance. Yeah, and it was always like there would be this uh, what was they called? Battle of the bands. Battle so of like, the bands. Yeah. Where different bands would come. Yeah, yeah. So you like guys were the competitors to Sicharan. Anta seen le They were tops. At time lo. But same city lo. Same so city lo. That is how yeah, you know uh, Sicharan. Even before, yeah, yeah. My brother and Sicharan, they are friends. Oh. Mark Vaisak lo CV on a spot unde the where evening I sir ke motto actually paper lo gade sir. Hmm. Unemployed youth under they used to gather around gather a circle there. on uh-huh. the beach and they used to smoke. So when you pass by the beach road, there is no light, but hmm. you can only see cigarette slit around that circle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so paperless see why is unemployed youth under Chedipot Naru they then JP they demolished that. But it, it was like a cool hangout spot. Beach me the okay. uh, my brother, Srichu, they all used to come with their guitars once it's seven seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. The city used to be shut by seven thirty. Mm. Everybody used to go home. But open early, you can play jam and all. Yeah, yeah. Police are not going to be able to play jam. When happy days part of the wine, the police are going to be able to play jam. Enjoy yourself. Hey, you know what uh, you all should do? Yeah. I don't know if anybody from Vizag is listening. I feel like Vizag will be a nice place to have a film club. Yeah. Don't you feel so? Yeah. Because like a lot of people I speak to, their like transformation started due to some film club, which probably doesn't exist now and nobody's running it. But yeah, yeah. a film society, a film club kind mm. of makes you, I think it's something you should do, man. Because... Yeah. I can, think uh, why is that Undali? Yeah. That's the whole... Yeah. Funny. But once you go back to Vizag, yeah, you'll... It'd be like laid back. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, reggae music play out in the background. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so who is living in Vaisak is lucky that way, dude. Yeah. Fucking, I mean, they will live at least 20 years longer than people in Hyderabad. Yeah. Their mental sanity would be better. And oh, no yes. tensions and no stress. And all. Oh, yes. I yeah, feel yeah. like it, man. I feel like you just eat like a nice meal and you're like, it is some nice privilege. But anyway, sorry. I, yeah, this is like... No, but seriously, on a serious note, if I meet people from Vaisak, I don't know what I'm saying. Motor, uh, <laughs> conversations and yeah, and so simple and mm. they, have, they don't have anything much to do. Complications are so chill. Chill. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. For us in Odisha, it's even better. No? Because yeah. your childhood friends have just died out of hunger. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> Go to their house and they are not there. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. Uh, so uh, I wanted to ask you about like you're a self-taught musician. Yeah. Right? Mm. So... Basics are not going to be able to do it. I like music, uh, singing for two years. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. After that, uh, keyboard for some mm-hmm. basics. That's for about two years, three years. Okay. Then there was a guitar uh, self-taught, kind of. I learned it from YouTube. And I saw, I grew up my uh, watching my brother play. Mm-hmm. He's also a guitarist. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, because when I started to learn, those uh, memories helped me. Okay. Probably. So, it's easy to do it. So, but you're not curious or you're not interested in making music because that is, that no, feels am, like I the am. only field. I am, I am. I, I had my hands on some Logic Pro and all these music production softwares recently. I have mm-hmm. a MIDI keyboard at home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I play around with beats and I make some music. Mm-hmm. But I mean in movies, like make your in own In movies, music. no. No, no. No? No. I what? think uh, that's something I do for myself. 
uh, guitar because whenever I play, I don't play for a crowd because I'm not that good of a guitarist. Mm-hmm. The open chords and basic chords, major, minor, and scales because I play it for myself. Uh-huh. So it's like for myself. But Correct. once I start playing for movies, people That's will be like, "No, this is not nice. Give us another chart buster album." Mm-hmm. I don't want to corrupt that at least. Oh, uh-huh. you're playing uh, just for knee sanity, go some. Yeah, yeah. Because filmmaking is another good thing. But of course, it's business at the end of the day, mm-hmm. and a lot of things come into play when you're making a film when there is huge money involved. But I think music is something I can. keep it unpolluted at least yeah yeah i feel like you're fiercely protective about these few things that you like yeah, yeah. writing and music yeah yeah, yeah. so your uh, self thought uh, musician and self thought writing also writing yeah writing i i started my first uh, screenplay writing uh, for a short film in say 2010 2009 then when i just got introduced to cell tx again mm. <laughs> so akar start jesa since then i've been writing ante bullshit nunchi ala meli meliga Mm-hmm. it changed it changed and somewhere around 2017 is when i felt that i found my voice when i was uh, writing krishna and his leela okay. or when i was making a uh, process lo mm-hmm. you'll know that what is uh, unique about you as in cheppaland words are described jail no but mm-hmm. they'll say everybody has uh, their own unique voice and they have to express mm-hmm. what they feel or their voice you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying So I think I found that voice in 2017 after making Shanam while making Krishna and Sita. Mm-hmm. Because Shanam was more like a thriller. Mm-hmm. So it had nothing to do with uh, your artistic take on things or your perspective. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But for and Krishna and Sita. And you co-wrote Dishma, uh, Shanam or yeah, yeah, already co-wrote. an existing idea by Idea on the the yeah. idea what happens in the end and the beginning was there. Okay. So we kind of built it from there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. I'll ask you a few questions about the artist life. Sure. I know it sounds heavy but I sure, sure. thought I could ask. So I'm uh, reading this book uh, right now called The War of Art, mm. not The Art of War, mm-hmm. which is that famous book Sun Tzu. Yeah, this is The War of Art. I read that book, Art of War. Art of War, yeah, yeah. 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 Even I read that. So I thought initially when my friend recommended, he's making a mistake, and I'm a cocky motherfucker. So I'll be like, hey, no, it's Art of War, <laughs> but he said no, it's War of Art. So basically, he talks about how as anybody who's pursuing any sort of artistic ambition is always stuck with self doubt. Hmm. and lack of motivation yeah. and pressure and just it's just fucking these monsters that he hmm. likes to call as resistance hmm. and he portrays it like as evil yeah. like how christians look at evil like satan, satan. Yeah. like that he looks at resistance as evil that was kind of like uh, something to me so i thought i'll just ask you questions on that because see yeah. as somebody who does so many varied fields in the unpredictable world of movie making yeah and i always like to use this analogy of like actually japalante it's like a startup journey yeah, kada you have yeah, an idea you yeah. work on it for 2 years yeah your shelf life is 3 days exactly that's it then yeah. nobody is you don't know yeah. so in that sort of a maniacal mad world mm. how does one retain their sanity <laughs> i mm. i don't know what sanity feels like anymore mm. because mm. i feel i've gone insane long back huh? mm. yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah like what, what do you mean by that uh For me, nothing else runs in my mind except uh, right. stories and movies. Mm-hmm. I'm so consumed by it. Mm-hmm. Either I'm watching a film or thinking about making a film or writing, and that writing it just not doesn't start like write a page a day. They say all of this, but mm-hmm. it's for me. It was never practically possible to write every day. Okay. So I the inspiration has to like really push me to open my laptop and start writing. Otherwise you don't push. Otherwise you don't uh, no, force I don't, it. I don't force it. Okay. I don't force it. But but when the time comes, uh, I'll go writing like all out. Mm-hmm. Like days together, like one week, first half, second week, one week, uh, second half, and one week. Oh. So like fourteen mm-hmm. days, I'll finish the whole screenplay once I sit mm-hmm. down to write. Okay. But until then, I like to brew my ideas as much as possible. But a process jala frustrating untund because uh you you'll have to clearly know when the line is to say that okay this is procrastinating and mm. this is actually well, thinking idea brewing mm. idea brewing mm. so a line eppudu cross blur ayipothundundi uh-huh. but uh, yeah some some day that that inspiration strikes and you'll just write it one of course when you're making a film uh, you're obviously forced to write because there's money involved and you have mm. to write mm. but apart from that uh, i write just log lines or points or just record my voice in most hmm. self doubt is constant i feel uh, i think uh, 
మేబీ క్రిస్టానిటీస్లో అయిన తర్వాత క్షణం అయిన తర్వాత బబుల్గమ్ అయిన తర్వాత వాట్ ఎవర్ రిసెప్షన్ దట్ వీ గెట్ వీ టేక్ దట్ వ్యాలిడేషన్ అండ్ గో హెడ్ రైటింగ్ అన్ అదర్ వన్ బట్ ఇట్ స్టిల్ ఫీల్స్ లైక్ ఐఎమ్ రైటింగ్ ఫర్ ద ఫస్ట్ టైమ్ వేర్ ఐ థింక్ దట్ మేబీ దిస్ ఇస్ అబ్సల్యూట్ పీస్ ఆఫ్ షిట్ అండ్ ఐ పీపుల్ దీన్ని ఒప్పుకోరు దీన్ని అవుట్ రైట్ రిజెక్ట్ చేస్తారు ఆర్ మేబీ పీపుల్ ఆర్ నాట్ రెడీ ఫర్ దిస్ ఇట్స్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ సెల్ఫ్ డౌట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ సో ఐ థింక్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ యాజ్ evil yeah actually you should not think because when i uh, watched animal uh, i felt that even 1% of self doubt are id workout avademo ana doubt ochina kuda we wouldn't have been able to witness this crazy mm. film mm. i think our boundary uh, uh, emaindante i think people ni janalu kuda filmmakers kuda condition chesaru oka rakamaina cinema chupichi because i see people talking about um, i don't know entha mandi offend avtaro deeniki but i see people talking about second half lo lag undi or idi ila unte baaguntundi i get it people mm. can have their opinions but ultimately uh, if you see a film that means that that filmmaker has decided to show this film this way to you mm. you might like it not like it but i think a uh, conditioning valla ఎక్కడో జనాలు ఫిల్మ్ మేకర్ పొజిషన్ తీసుకోవడానికి ట్రై చేస్తున్నారు అనిపిస్తుంది ఇట్ కుడ్ బి ఎనీబడి జనాలు ఇందులో రివ్యూ రైటర్స్ అందరు వస్తారు అందులో బట్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ సెయింగ్ వీఆర్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ యూ ఆర్ ఎనీథింగ్ బట్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ హోల్ ద ద కలెక్షన్స్ ఆర్ ద బాక్స్ ఆఫీస్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ ఆర్ అవి ఎక్కువ మ్యాటర్ అవుతున్నాయి మోర్ దెన్ ద కోర్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ స్టోరీ టెల్లింగ్ ఆర్ ఫిల్మ్ మేకింగ్ Yeah. So I think that's why I'm not too happy with it. Hmm. Also, there's a lot of voices that are going to play. Because I'm not kidding. Oh, no, 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 correct. You're actually suppressing other voices. Yeah, correct. Because I'm not kidding. 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 You're actually suppressing a lot without knowing. Correct, correct. I saw a video somewhere where uh, RGV is blaming uh, Mr. Rajamouli for the way, for, uh, for people not coming to the theatres. because he showed something like bahubali in rrr mm. which is so mm. magnanimous in scale yeah now everyone and is expecting yeah people to... are not interested to watch anything lesser than that mm. which is true in a way yeah correct but at the same time rajmouli cannot stop making films like yeah. that yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. he is only getting bigger and bigger because yeah, that's exactly. what like yeah yeah i think it's also the pandemic don't you think that the pandemic has essentially changed the way we look at cinema pandemic and the ott Yeah. Because people have more options now. Correct. Uh, I don't think there are uh, stars that l- like they used to be before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Demigod culture, our culture no, is not going to be there. Now, I think uh, if you are not entertaining, I have other options at, on my phone. Correct. Or my like TV. Korea and yeah. what not, man. Also, if it is Chalante. like a little bit of a mid-dat line picture, it's like a few weeks ago, it's like a OTT to watch. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because when yeah. Bubblegum came out, I, a lot of reviews uh, were not good and a lot of reviews were very good. Hmm. but i feel that uh, people have come to that level of well the choice on ah wait just them ott lo osthadi choose adam yeah honestly but some things like for me uh, when i was month of madhu or actually double engine recently like nowadays i'm on my, i'm on a sound trip like i'm noticing the sound design and all mm-hmm. of that like and for me i liked the month of madhu sound design in the theater yeah because there was something which yeah, which of kind course. of changed my perception i always thought that uh theater experience movies ante there will be one type you know like the rajmouli type yeah. but it's actually the smaller movies that can exactly. kind of draw yeah. you in yeah, mm-hmm. because there is no obvious markers right yeah. mm-hmm. there's yeah. no item number so there is yeah. so yeah so what do you think the future of like theater viewing experience will be is it going mm. to just go the large heroes way no i don't think it will go just the large heroes way of course large heroes can get people to the theater but i think uh, any film that has a that has like uh, you wonder okay usp mm. like hanuman for example mm. hanuman is not that big a film yeah. before it was released correct uh, but i feel it it's usp is hanuman mm. so if you have event films like that or there is uh, one eccentric protagonist or i don't know eccentric mm. maybe like animal or yeah yeah people will like ipur aadutunna okara okara nunchi inkunta but we don't know mm. that's what that's the whole matter we don't know what people like yeah we don't know what people will not like mm. so i think it's the, the gambling period anukunta koncham gambling yeah i think oh, every no. friday because 
కొన్ని కొన్నిసార్లు బాగున్న సినిమాలు కూడా రాంగ్ టైం రిలీజ్ ఉండొచ్చు లైక్ బేబీ డెడ్ డెడ్ రియలీ వెల్ లాస్ట్ ఇయర్ ఓపెనింగ్ డే అది సమ్ సెవెన్ క్రోర్స్ ఎంతో ఇట్ ఓపెన్ ఆన్ సెవెన్ క్రోర్స్ దట్ వాస్ హ్యూజ్ ఫర్ ఫిల్మ్ ఆఫ్ దట్ సైజ్ and many combinations unnai ikkada like baby trailer worked for so many people like animal also animal work because the trailer worked yeah so okokka okokka sari okokka permutation bite ki vastundi like a trailer manchi undi kabatti now idi bite ki vachesindi where hanuman release ayin tarata word of mouth spread ayi then people are like okay going to watch and uh, screens increase chestaru oh, no. so okokka sari okokka permutation yeah adi trick also was surprisingly like had a very low buzz after the movie release are bondani it went up to like edo 75 crores varaku kelindi so emo sorry sorry yeah i go for it no 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 please please i have no i was just going to say it's like lottery like if you lose you you have the itch to go back and play again so that you will win back correct so mm. i think yeah. we have to wait every friday for that adrenaline yeah what does it get to you sometimes i mean in an industry where all your work mm. it's like see if you created something like if you're a sculptor you created a sculpture it's a beautiful work of art yeah but the work of art that you guys are involved in filmmakers yeah. is completely dependent on somebody else's opinion of it right correct yeah even if it's people like me who are reviewing yeah doesn't that get to you sometimes that that it does in a weird way it reminds me of uh, exams hmm uh because uh, exams are maybe results more than exams hmm. exams rasna padan the tension undadu kan results vachina kuda tension undadu kada so i think like every film release ki naaku my body i think it remembers that trauma mm-hmm. uh, writing 52 subjects in engineering <laughs> 52 exams so naaga akkad theeskelipothadu first it will pull me back to that it's 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 scary it gets mm-hmm. to me sometimes but mm-hmm. is there any way you cope with actually naaga ante thankfully two weeks is my time after the film's release mm. two weeks lo uh, ఎంత ఆనందపడుతానా ఏడుస్తానా వాట్ ఎవర్ ఐ విల్ గెట్ డన్ విత్ ఇట్ బికాస్ అల్టిమేట్లీ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు మేక్ అన్ అదర్ ఫిల్మ్ అగైన్ బై ది ఎండ్ ఇప్పుడు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ కృష్ణ అండ్ డిస్లీ ఆర్ బబుల్ గమ్ ఎనీథింగ్ ఆ సినిమా ఎండింగ్ వచ్చేసరికి ఐ విల్ మూవ్ ఆన్ ఆబ్వియస్లీ బికాస్ యూ సీ ద ఫిల్మ్ షేపింగ్ అప్ అండ్ యూ మూవ్ ఆన్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇట్ బికాస్ యూ ఫినిష్ దిస్ స్టోరీ మీరు ఇప్పుడు చూడొచ్చు చూస్తున్నారు ఈ సినిమా బట్ దట్స్ లైక్ మై ఎండింగ్ పాయింట్ వేర్ యూ స్టార్ట్ so yeah. by then i have moved on because i have traveled with that story and those characters for a year by then mm-hmm. and apudu already move on ayipothunta and the two weeks after release it will just help me ante hit aithe obviously it will give that little boost and it will take me forward make another film mm. so by then it will give another kind of boost and again i have to make a film ultimately yeah so you are in it yeah. for this yeah yeah for life oh yeah Yeah. But I felt bad uh, for one thing. Krishna and his Leela theater lo release I unte then could have at least given little more inko broader uh, audience dorke de mo anan pichhe because appudiki uh, till then there were many movies ah uh, 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 entity mana 96 or any of these uh, yeah. small movies also any movie would work in uh, in the theater if it had a good word of mouth. Yeah. It is not that are only triple R or Bahubali and films okate gaakunda. Adi it is on the border. Adi and that too it was like one of I think your first your film. Shanam was Shanam was also my film ante. Huh. See even on Krishna and Sheela I collaborated with uh, Siddhu. With Siddhu. Huh. Same way I collaborated with Sesh also on huh. uh, Shanam. Okay okay. Huh. Yeah. So and you were disappointed when it came out directly on Netflix OTT la No I knew because see apudge I spent a long time on Krishna and Sheela uh. and we wanted this film to badly come out we also released uh, gave a date may 1st release date icham uh. but then march lo lockdown ochindi hmm. so we were like we don't know what the scenario is by then may ka time ki june ki theaters eppudu open avtaya asalu open avtaya hmm. future enti em telidu and then we thought uh, maybe apude inka Netflix adantha open avutundi opportunities ikkada maybe mm. we'll just give it a try because our time lo and luckily theaters were released up poyna uh, it was trending in malaysia dubai mm-hmm. uh, e places lo kuda mm-hmm. yeah it was uh, one of the first uh, first films on yeah. ott yeah. yeah. so that way lot of people from tamil nadu kerala we'll andra kuda chuddam jarigindi oh so nice, that way nice. it, it reached actually kind of happy yeah inka pedda yeah. audience reach ayindadi oh nice nice oh. and do you do any like non cinema viewing like apart from movies do you watch anything else uh i watch uh podcast oh really yeah yeah I oh damn podcasts. like what what are your favorite podcasts now then i'm a big entourage fan i was talking to you i was talking to vijit about entourage yeah mm-hmm. so 
so they made a podcast called uh, victory about their experiences and everything i watch that sometimes i watch joe rogans mm-hmm. i watch and uh, on entourage actor lone jeremy piven anoka actor nadu mm-hmm. atani podcast lo konu chustha okay beer biceps konu chustha correct mm-hmm. yeah. so uh, do you watch anime by any chance I just started watching anime dude anime that I got oh, because of, of the crazy Comic-Con. recommendations because of, because of comic con i went to comic con okay dude it's like an annual event where you're reminded of how old you are <laughs> right because and at least in our age we knew superman whatever right all this yeah. avengers marvel people mm. now it's just some strange mm. people dude i have uh, no fucking Rangiku, idea rangiku rangisu or or like marvel kind of iron man work follow yeah that was like too many people and i gave up yeah, yeah. yeah. but these all these anime people came and i was supposed to make a video and i'm supposed to ask them but i have no fucking clue man who are these people so i just asked them some generic question like as your character what would you eat in hyderabad everybody said biryani fuck that so then i realized okay <laughs> let me let me not be so judgmental right so yeah. i asked one kid like he's a comic so 24 25 i asked him like what should i watch and he said anime watch attack on titan mm-hmm. right which is supposed to be like the the, the godfather uh, yeah the japanese uh, anime yeah it's is it japanese it's japanese no yeah so it's like the the exorcist or whatever the oh. godfather of yeah anime what's that name attack on titan right oh, okay attack on titan so i'm watching it it's kind of interesting man like have you ever tried watching no, it no i haven't tried i should it is like rajmouli cinema but animated 3x animation. but animated full fuck every emotion is heightened mm. and i kind of liked it but yeah okay. but the only anime i watched is that weird fucking hentai porn dude <laughs> <laughs> you know those you know those and always like yeah. i am always little wary of japanese culture because i feel like they are too into fucked up shit you know mm. what i mean like mm. everything japanese is just like unnecessarily intricate man like like sushi what the fuck is sushi dude mm. like does it, do you need that much it's stomach filling it uh, is it, it is, it's it not is. actually is it it is it is yeah. i don't know i feel like it's unnecessary you, dude you only when me eat in goa i just yeah, like, i love sushi but i'm just like what is the logic behind yeah. it so i i feel like even oh, that, it's complicated like, yeah it's unnecessarily like, complicated like Jap- yeah. japanese i don't know if you can talk about this producers <laughs> but you see japanese porn they'll censor off like the i yeah. said the genitalia yeah yeah it'll the blur it yeah will be blurred blur so strange because it's th- only kada in their country it is also an industry and it is legal so but had, uh, it is only for above 18 years so they'll blur it out and all i don't know wow. i don't know but i'm just finding out about jap the only japanese movies i had watched till now was kurosawa okay which which i was which i liked we had watched a few kurosawa movies mm. but I, i should watch kurosawa films kurosawa mm. movies are like proper indian movies dude i feel mm. like okay. i mean i've only watched like 3 4 but any like international filmmaker that that you like that you would like recommend that we watch not much no? i think uh, mm. uh, the guy who made parasite fascinated me a lot oh huh. mm. bong jun ho or something uh, his name is there but he yeah. also made uh, orca some yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Film on a pig on a pig correct yeah. correct uh, after after China. parasite no no before before parasite, parasite. Oh. yeah yeah orga mm. orga or though something something it's yeah, on yeah. netflix That's crazy movie that was man yeah yeah mad yeah. film correct and uh, no, so what are what are your kind of films no like now we have experimented or done with kshanam mm. then krishna is leela yeah. and then one coming of age bubblegum yeah so what are your uh, genres that you want to touch like no chushin i think essentially with? drama 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 uh, is something that you like yeah, yeah. Huh. action dramas huh. i like action dramas Any, science, anything science that you're going to experiment next with uh yeah, next yes. is a uh, it's it's a um, uh, yeah of course it's a motivation drama mm-hmm. i don't know how to categorize that film i if i call it motivation drama myself mm. <laughs> i don't know how it will sound but mm. i think uh, it it probably inspirational anachu uh, mm-hmm. kind of that kind that zone of a film mm-hmm. yeah that okay. and one action drama that i'm working on but this is with uh, siddu oh yeah yeah mm-hmm. so it's going to be our second film again together oh nice so you're writing now yeah writing i finished writing long back i wrote this story uh, during lockdown it was kind of uh, actually when krishna and his leela uh, i think delay avutundi ad ekkada ostundo teliyadu anna space lo unnapudu i was no way to go there was uh, i could get nothing i could 
not get a bottle of alcohol nothing actually mm-hmm. uh, during lockdown so i was uh, forced into this uh, what old boy space lo oka <laughs> oka psych space lo force chesinattu undadi mm-hmm. but uh, there i i wrote something i i wrote something kind of like this motivation just to help myself like kind of a self help okay so i had i had a lot of thing a lot of angst inside me so i wanted to put it out in some form or the other so i created a plot and mm-hmm. i and created what area of motivation is it in like what field what discipline of life uh, is that what discipline? like is it like a sports motivation this thing no, it that i think it it will be too early to reveal that okay but uh, it's it's kind of it it's like one sports drama okay okay cool, you'll cool. feel like it's a sports drama but it's not on sports okay mm-hmm. uh, that much i can reveal for now okay but uh, yeah it's kind of uh, a motivation like how if when when you're put down or life puts you down how you bounce, bounce back, back. double okay. the size i think uh, our emotional i think there is a lot of power because i feel uh, it'll also you don't know ante art ok sari manam chesin tarata manam e reason tone chesundochu but ad receive cheskune vaadu e space lo untado manaku teliyadu he could be in one but chaala life changing you know crossroads lo undochu job marochu adi ever nela effect chestado manaku teliyadu kada so nannu ala effect chesina cinema lo కొన్ని ఉన్నాయి ఇన్ ఎ డిఫరెంట్ వే సో సమ్వేర్ వెన్ ఐ రోట్ దిస్ ఐ ఫెల్ట్ బెటర్ సో ఐ థాట్ మేబీ ఇఫ్ ఐ పుట్ దిస్ అవుట్ ఇన్ అ ఫిల్మ్ మేబీ ఇట్ విల్ ఇట్ హెల్ప్ సమ్వన్ ఎల్స్ ఇట్ విల్ హెల్ప్ సమ్వన్ ఎల్స్ ఐ నో నాట్ లైక్ అ ప్రీచింగ్ ఆర్ అ గైడ్ చేద్దాం అని కాదు మీరు ఇట్లా ఉండాలి అలా ఉండాలని బట్ చెప్తా ఇట్స్ మోర్ లైక్ యా బికాస్ జర్సీ వాస్ వన్ ఫిల్మ్ లైక్ దట్ వేర్ ఐ గాట్ రియల్లీ ఇన్స్పైర్డ్ Mm. and by the end of the film i was like very very moved and yeah and chala weird ga kabir singh gave me that kind of a rush mm. kabir singh is a love story again mm. uh, arjun reddy and kabir singh both but for me kabir singh jo sochin tarata there was this kind of uh, rush that adrenaline rush adi mm. i don't know why maybe uh, he tapped too much on the man inside me Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was completely charged up by the time the film ended. No, but Sandeep Reddy does that, man. Yeah. His movies kind of affect you in some way, yeah, like, yeah. you know. It's beyond the arguments of morality and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah. It is just, there is, I, I feel, I mean, I've tried to analyze it and I mm-hmm. tried to overanalyze it probably. But I feel like it is, his characters are sometimes just shown breathing. Yeah. Just shown doing something very regular that kind of makes them believable, right? Yeah, yeah. and it has those spaces in between the all the hyper Correct. like if you see animal i watched again on netflix when it released me too yeah in between all of these crazy fucking scenes he's discussing underwear yeah right so it is just so strange yeah, even yeah, as yeah. a visual experience yeah. for the viewer the same thing in arjun reddy also it's like he's supposed to be this destructive guy and then he's giving a lecture about women and feminism mm. and then suddenly he's yeah you know he's fighting with his brother and then he's trying to smoke a joint i i feel like somehow that guy just taps into something there is a scene when uh, rashmika's parents come home mm. and they ask her what are you doing with your life mm. and on the other side you see ranbir kapoor with this full belly smoking a cigarette looking at them mm. from far off distance yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, she tells about how he took care of her when she was giving birth to two kids yeah mm-hmm. i know uh, writing uh, a purpose means rasna kuda he created that kind of a character who is like above morals and all you are not you don't have to live life the idealistic way yeah mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. i feel like one of the sadnesses of the, all of this argument is that nobody even talks about his craft man exactly dude mm-hmm. the guy puts in so much fucking thought now he's editing also like <laughs> you <laughs> you know it's not an easy task to make a film not, like dude animal. and that too to have such a fiercely independent individualistic voice right yeah. that Dude like the opening credits I watched it while when it released I watched it again even then I fell for it but one I naki okkate ardham kale motha cinema lo the whole monkey story hmm. that he starts the starting with, the hmm. which he starts with and he ends with the yeah. the same uh, grandfather huh. so what is that meek ardham ayindadi ana స్టార్టింగ్ లో హూ నరేట్స్ ద స్టోరీ రణబీర్ కపూర్ రణబీర్ కపూర్ ఎట్ బట్ హి టెల్స్ ఇట్ యాస్ హూ టోల్డ్ హిమ్ ద స్టోరీ హిస్ ఫాదర్ ఆర్ హిస్ దాదా హి సేస్ देयर ఇస్ వన్ స్టోరీ ఓకే సో హి ఇస్ ఓన్లీ నరేటింగ్ ద స్టోరీ देयर ఇస్ వన్ స్టోరీ ఒక మంకీ ఇస్ దేర్ వన్ స్వర్డ్ ఇస్ దేర్ అండర్ కదా 
అదంతా చెప్పిన తర్వాత స్టోరీ చెప్తాడు లాస్ట్ కి నకిలీ స్వర్డ్ ఫేక్ స్వర్డ్ తీసుకున్నాడు ఫేక్ సోడ్ తో వాడు మినిస్టర్ చంపేసుకున్నాడు మంకీ కూడా అలాగే చేసి సోడ్ తీసి చేతిలో పెట్టుకుంది పెట్టుకుని అంది కరెక్ట్ అక్కడికి హిల్ స్టార్ట్ ద ఫ్లాష్ బ్యాక్ కరెక్ట్ అండ్ ఇన్ ది ఎండింగ్ ఆఫ్టర్ ద హోల్ అజీజ్ ద బుచర్ ద బుచర్ క్యారెక్టర్ అదంతా అయిపోయిన తర్వాత యూ సీ just before the film by sandeep reddy vanga an pade mundu ah. you see this old guy again doing that that is for mm. critics adhe kada sure i think so what else can it be right yeah. i feel mm. like it was like fuck you yeah which i actually liked i, I think that Even... monkey is uh, sandeep reddy vanga <laughs> could be yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. that it's like a metaphorical thing that yeah. i don't give a fuck and you yeah. can't yeah. fool me with your tricks yeah oh. you right. probably so the monkey said act like you killed yourself but uh. yeah fuck Some... man that's true actually yeah but i like that the do i am on the receiving end of it i like that a filmmaker finally because see i feel like at some point when you review a movie you feel like you're more powerful than the guy yeah which dude that guy slogged fucking 5 years to yeah. write that and i know the privilege i have in just watching it and kind of giving my opinion right but this guy is one guy he said fuck all of you all i don't yeah. fucking cares fucking ballsy guy yeah but it's so sad that now his movies are never watched with just the lens of cinema man it's always edo morality o like yeah, yeah. you know and he's very aware of that he's, yeah yeah he's very aware of that and that's why he'll go lens to provoke you even more yeah yeah which is why now i'm oh. curious about his next movie yeah yeah me too it, it must he's be. provoking you to talk like end of day it's like a win for him he made everyone talk about animal exactly okay. yeah and also i feel like art is supposed to maybe sometimes disgust you dude it's okay yeah. art does not yeah. need to always have you know to make you feel good about yourself yeah. it is okay if a film is fucking problematic i mean mm. deal with it and but i feel like you know mostly critics i mean though i am one also i feel like they fucking they have no sense of humor to <laughs> no i am talking softly in my own podcast but i feel like most film critics take themselves too seriously man yeah. it's like what the fuck is your contribution man yeah. that guy made the movie you are basically like a food reviewer So what surprises me people who st- who are so educated engineering and they say us to settle out and get there kada they say all these uh, uh, they say us going film or going audience they go by uh, some xyz website reviews hmm. how fucked up is that yeah oh the the audience in uh, us in usa because uh-huh. it's 12 12 to 15 dollar ticket mm-hmm. yeah. oh so because for the only if the review is good uh, mm-hmm. then they'll go to the film uh-huh. or else they won't oh and yeah. so then indirectly tickets depend on Our that websites review. they know that that's the trick oh shit oh, oh. then that is unethical that is are i don't know i mean you like plus points minus points all fine hmm. verdict ante ever this kill judge position la gurche pettadi tirpi ivadaniki and also the numbers man the number system is a very cruel way to review a movie yeah. hmm. you know because yeah. how can you hmm. i'm glad a few of them stopped uh, we stopped it like right in the, the first film yeah, yeah, yeah. we never yeah. gave a number Mm-hmm. though of course that was the suggestion of mr baradwaj rangan mm-hmm. or anpam chopra i don't know one okay. of them but mm-hmm. that's very liberating for us man because like yeah. how how can you tell a movie mm-hmm. is three now yeah. there's a new thing that has started 3.25 3.25 mm-hmm. right like like a 0.75 ain't all yeah, yeah you can't yeah. i don't know it's like you're not eating a samosa right there is <laughs> yeah. something more than that i don't know point teacher uh, marks correction jaise aur papers ichi yeah like yeah మన్మధుడు <laughs> 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 Jeevi used like to give up on the reviews. So, up at low, like Bombarilu was 4. So, he, whichever movies he gives 4 minutes, this is going to be like a game. Okkadu was 4. Okkadu yeah. was 3.75 or 4. So, whichever he gave 4 were like, he was just genuine. I think he's a nice guy. Like, he doesn't mess up much like the other websites. Hmm. But, Jeevi, uh, idle brain uh, reviews uh, were like reliable. I would like go to Yahoo or go to uh, this thing. Uh, Internet cafe, okay, 10, 15 rupees is there. what are everything all part of part of all babas this is also like one tab so ante meer exist avadu ani cheppe right manaku ledu but inkedo medium etakalanta 
no a, a point to uh, parameter teesesthe then i think it's good see you write you write a review but remove that uh, i think that's a good uh, this thing that's right. a, take out 2 and 1/2 3 3 and 1/2 4 avu teesesthe then people will go to the review while em valke em ardham endo ardham chestuntaru yeah poi chudal anukunta chustaru like both led but if you give off 1 and 1/2 or 2 then it's like cutting off yeah so my problem with the uh, idle brain gv is that he is the first guy who started reviewing mm. and that's good maybe he brought in a culture of reviewing movies whatever but he started this plus minus first half this second. number game first half second half first half is good second half is mm. uh, yeah. weak oh. right which the second half is weak problem is actually would you blame the filmmaker there's a fucking 20 minute interval in the middle man mm. they cursed with that yeah mm. and people are eating samosa and all mm. and then now imagine like for a movie like month of mathu how do you bring them back into that mood that you created for one hour exactly right which was yeah. a very subtle thing it was a very yeah. nuanced thing the pain is not visible the happiness is not fully there yeah then you get 20 25 minutes break which is filled with fucking you know you have to go pee then you have to see if bathroom is clean then you have to go buy some more sites 300 rupees yeah. the mind is already cursing that guy yeah. people are trying to sell you fucking credit card now you know you go to pvr they try to sell you a credit card and when for me the intermission i am either frantically writing my script or i am trying to not kind of take in these other you know what i mean yeah. this external external stimuli yeah because you want to stay in the mood of the movie but it is fucking impossible dude and because of that i feel like the interval bank will get bigger and bigger mm. because they are trying to retain exactly. and movies like smaller movies will just kind of find it hard to compete i feel like it is yeah and i think uh, whatever you're talking about i've personally chal takwa mana especially mana mana states lo mana telugu cinema lo telugu speaking states lo is what i feel and uh, people who appreciate cinema or people who get art or Hmm. Uh, film uh, enthusiast or filmmaker is no kotta ga chepda un try chestunna edana kuda i think that percentage is very less it's it's reducing uh, also reducing also i think maamul gane adi manaki ippudu even uh, when shekhar kamula made films he was uh, known like this em uh, antaru hatke filmmaker hmm. back then yeah and his audience was less compared to hmm. vivek oh, naik no. or oh, no. any of those directors uh, yeah. during those times so i think uh, i feel when you want to do something new you are also automatically alienating yourself from your target audience yeah so uh, to back that at least you need to have uh, a big star playing or uh, hmm. some kind of uh, extremely viral promotional content uh, okay. from your film in, in this time. in this today's in, time. in this yeah, today's time. that's yeah. true that's true yeah, yeah. like baby baby yeah like baby. how the song went extremely viral extremely like viral help yeah. in the content mm, yeah adi kuda even baby for that matter if you see that is majority of our people and uh, they are related yeah, and connected obviously ante when you are making a film uh, about a guy who drives an auto and who has quotes uh, written on the back mm. his psyche a loki elledu i think uh, mm. our mass that we are talking about that mass number mm. uh, comes from there i feel mm. correct uh, when i don't know asima uh, usara and lo seetha no character untundi kada yeah the friend the friend, friend character yeah. that is us yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's like that uh, man that's us in their yeah. eyes yeah correct. you know what i'm saying so correct like a judgmental like yeah, yeah. privileged yeah. person mm. yeah i don't oh. very funny character though. yeah <laughs> I always felt like you know maybe Sai Rajesh imagines like film critics and all to be said. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, but that's us. Yeah. So what oh, we do is uh, immaterial actually. Immaterial. Oh no. Yeah. So what do you think is the future like in five ten years? How do you think this scene like will people like you who are trying to make movies of a different kind? Mm. Is it going to get better? Is it going to get worse? Is it? it uh, depends because thankfully i enjoy all kinds of cinema so i love to watch mainstream template films your uh, mm. go to action films and uh, mm. masala films so i would definitely want to make films like that at the same time uh, you know it's all second it boils down to how much power you have mm. as a filmmaker and to get that power you need to make solid box office numbers mm. today's reality okay so i think once you uh, once your film makes those kind of numbers uh people won't bother you as in what you're doing or uh, 
what you're trying to tell correct you can do whatever you want after sure. once you make certain uh, numbers Money. with your yeah. but that's kind of difficult no like see if you look at say like you said woody allen mm. now woody allen movies are never known to be big money churners yeah but still he's given that space to make his own fucking weird movies but see uh, america is or internationally the audience uh, target is so wide that people appreciate hitchcock people appreciate woody allen uh, they have their own audience mm. and that limit anta chinna audience would be a big number for them still mm. and people uh, i think they are more uh, exposed to world than we are mm-hmm. can we say that hmm. probably yeah yeah and so also i think it is over time like when woody allen made at that point of time like suppose like say uh, what's that ane ane hall ane hall. hall ah year low which year it was 88 or something no uh, 70s or something 70s 80s, something huh. ఆ టైంలో ఐ డోంట్ థింక్ సో ఇట్ వాస్ మచ్ టాక్ అబౌట్ లైక్ డ్యూడ్ ఇట్ వన్ ఆస్కర్ మ్యాన్ వాట్ ఆర్ యు సేయింగ్ అప్పుడు యా అని హౌ డైన్ కిటన్ వన్ డైన్ కిటన్ ఆ డైన్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇస్ హర్ నేమ్ ఓ దట్ యాక్ట్రెస్ యాక్ట్రెస్ షీ వన్ ఆస్కర్ ఓహ్ అండ్ హి హస్ బీన్ మేకింగ్ మూవీస్ ఫ్రమ్ 60స్ డ్యూడ్ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ హి హస్ మేక్ అ మూవీ యా బ్లాక్ అండ్ వైట్ మూవీస్ హి హస్ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ వన్ మూవీ ఆల్మోస్ట్ సో నౌ వాట్ డస్ దట్ టెల్ యు దట్ ప్రాబబ్లీ ఇట్ ఇస్ బట్ ఐ డోంట్ నో ఐ ఫీల్ లైక్ సి దేర్స్ వన్ మోర్ ప్లేస్ వేర్ ఐ ఫీల్ రియల్లీ బ్యాడ్ ఓకే సో ఆల్ దిస్ లైక్ ఫిల్మ్ కంపానియన్ critics they meet up and they are having whatever right so then you are always discussing oh like i like this movie in malayalam cinema i like this and all but for me there is nothing to discuss to it because they are like oh the only thing we are known for is like oh your movies make money yeah and i am always having and you know how condescending it is they'll be like oh i loved rrr mm. right or oh i loved bahubali which is great of course but i mean like there is nothing really else to even talk like no movie where i can talk about a subtext a social issue uh, yeah. anything mm. beyond the fucking numbers you know like mm. so which is why it's very nice for people like us that there are filmmakers like you who are at least going beyond the numbers game in a way i mean i don't know if that's your intent but at least there should be something artistic about a work of art yeah i think the money uh, or making box office numbers shouldn't be your uh, intention behind making films if it makes it's a bonus Yeah, I think uh, how impactful you'll tell your story is only what matters at the end of the day. Mm. And uh, based on that impact your numbers will show is what I feel. Correct. Hmm. Yeah. But even saying things like this now will be like is frowned upon. Hmm. Like now even if you say this people will be like oh you hmm. know oh, this guy thinks above the hmm. he's above the oh. like it is generally assumed that we are shitting on the people who are you know watching the masala movies but that is yeah. also not i think chaala mandi ki youtube lo especially mana audience ki english lo maatadam baap ayipoyind anipistadi yeah i think Correct. english lo maatadate enti english lo maatadutunna edu anipist feeling automatic untadem anipistundi oh no i am not no there is this concept uh, we studied in uh, commerce lo uh, always see substance over form but ikkada atla nadadu they see form over substance yeah you, usually like ante em kanipinchinde immediately పర్సివియర్స్ వేసుకొని ఇది ఇదని ఇట్లా వెంటనే జడ్జ్మెంట్ టిక్ లెఫ్ట్ రైట్ స్వైప్ రైట్ స్వైప్ లెఫ్ట్ చేసేస్తారు బట్ కొంచెం లోపలికి వెళ్ళి ఒక ఒక లేయర్ తవ్వి చూస్తే దాని ద ఇంటెంట్ చూడాలి కదా యా వాట్ రోహిత్ శర్మ ఈ స్ట్రగ్లింగ్ నౌ బట్ డూ యూ డూ యూ ఫైండ్ ఎనీ ట్రూత్ ఇన్ ఇట్ లైక్ జనరలీ పీపుల్ సే దట్ యు నో ఫర్ తెలుగు యూత్ దెర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ ఎల్స్ అపార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ సినిమా టు కన్స్యూమ్ యా in terms of an art form mm-hmm. is that still true today because it was so. certainly true for our generation right yeah, like yeah. we had no internet and we had to go out of our way like you had to learn yeah. music from somewhere but we don't really have a culture of reading books no. or mm. listening to music for mm. us writer means movie writer music yeah. means movie music yeah mm. so but if that were true then our film should have been more accepting of artistic works right it is kind of a i think uh, there were phases in telugu cinema if you mm. look at uh, vishwanath gar films mm. Mm. all his films were if you even if you look, uh, watch the films today you will be blown away mm. no no by the films that correct that were made yeah and they were artsy those, proper exactly, artsy movies exactly and oh. they made money chakrabarnam is such an artistic film yeah a musician um, uh, yeah it's hyper artsy actually exactly. it's like very niche and it made money yeah mm-hmm. if it released today you know the same critics would have been like hey there are no elevation moments <laughs> you know there are actually there are elevation moments there actually elevation yeah, yeah yeah there's bangs yeah yeah, yeah. 
I was watching Whiplash again the other day. That's one of my favorite films. Oh, yeah. mm. And I was drawing parallels to Shankara Varanam and Whiplash. Oh, correct. Like a mentor. J.J. Simons and yeah, 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 yeah. Shankar Shastri. Yeah. Mm. yeah. इधर क्रेजी पीपल डायरेक्टर Damien Chazelle yeah Damien Chazelle like I love how he uses music in his have you seen like there'll always what be some What are the other films that he made He made First Man no, no, no. I haven't seen La La Land La La Land, okay. La La Land. Oh, okay. So and he has some obsessions yeah, so yeah, jazz yeah, yeah. will be there yeah. and some things like that yeah which I I wish like our films also had that like it should be a little bit like you know that Tarantino loves 70s cinema yeah. from his movies you know that Damien Chazelle likes jazz you know like, yeah but yeah Cool. I feel like uh, sorry if the questions were too boring or anything like that. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I had a ball of a time. Yeah. 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 As, as somebody who watches podcasts, I was afraid to ask you in the middle. What do you think of this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I I just want to ask one question, and this is a personal question. So, um, like how you dabble in many things, I also dabble in a few things. Like I'm trying to do stand up. I'm trying to do my own writing and all of that. And one of the things I feel is that generally. um there is a lack of uh, for lack of a better word a creative juices on tar gada mm-hmm. it they stop flowing at one point mm. because you just feel worn out yeah how does one ensure that the creative juices keep flowing mm. uh what would be the intention to make money out of it or just to like for yourself or keep yourself content either i mean i mean only if the juices are flowing can you decide whether it's for money or this or that i feel But I don't know. At least, put you will. I'm sure uh, something will still keep inspiring you, right? Mm-hmm. I'm sure you still have your inspirations on. You're, it's not like you're not getting inspired by any work that you see outside. So I, I think uh, maybe the juices are on just on a break right now. Okay. I think, I think once you have that bug, it's very difficult to get away from it. Is what I feel. Correct. but you don't have like those like moments of like disillusionment like what the fuck am i doing yeah yeah, yeah? yeah. like almost that. every day adu untu da battle adu imposter syndrome antar kada it's like you yeah, feel yeah. like you are an imposter yeah you also have yeah. that you've been fucking 10 years here man imposter ante uh, imposter ante yeah. like uh, i am just faking it like if i, I, I meet someone it. i just uh, absorb their kaad uh, kaad like types. even if so suppose you've been a filmmaker right yeah yeah Uh, or like say I've been a stand-up comic, mm-hmm. but I still mm-hmm. feel like if I have a great show, you feel like oh fuck, I don't yeah. deserve this actually. I'm an imposter. I'm faking it. Right, right. Now actually, all I put on a monic shanam this time would buy me something. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because maybe people will perceive me as that ani oko buy me something. Okay. But you don't have those kind of ah problem like. Imp- yeah, fuck man, that's nice. Thankfully. Maybe yeah. that's one of maybe that's the way to keep churning out work by not overthinking it. ओवर थिंकिंग उवर थिंकिंग ओवर थिंकिंग सेल्फ डाउट अवी का बैटल एक्सप्लोर्ड एनी वे टू लाइक कंट्रोल इट लाइक डू यू लाइक मेडिटेट 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 नाइस लाइक वॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ मेडिटेशन डू यू लॉट्स आई यूज टू फॉलो सदगुरुज मेडिटेशन एंड लॉट ऑफ अदर स्पिरिचुअल टीचर्स आई रीड लॉट ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल बुक्स लाइक समटाइम्स आई ओपन भगवद गीता एंड आई रीड ओशो समटाइम्स Mm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Mm. There is this book called Krishna and His Philosophy. Okay. And recently, I found my love towards God. Uh huh. Because that's another topic. If we no, let's fucking go, man. Mm. I'm kind it. of yeah, fascinated yeah. by it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because like we both grew up in Puttaparthi. It yeah, was okay. a very, very spiritual place. Mm. Like we were allowed to think a few thoughts. That's mm. how closed it was. And then, mm. of course, after that, when you come out, you rebelliously become an atheist. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Right. But then, when I was an atheist, now I I like to believe I'm agnostic in the sense that yeah. I will take what I like from religion. Otherwise, yeah. I won't. But as an atheist, you envy the people who believe in God yeah. because they have a certain sanity, right? Mm-hmm. There is, I feel like they are they don't have as many mental health issues as people who are atheist or whatever. I was. What do you think? See, that's what when you uh, lose your faith or belief in God. See, I lost my belief in God because uh, I grew up in a house where I was told. 
ఐ వాజ్ గాడ్ ఫియరింగ్ అంటారు కదా గాడ్ ఫియరింగ్ ఎక్కువ ఉండేది దేవుడు కళ్ళు పోతాయి లెంపులు వేసుకో ఈ స్పేస్ లో మాట్లాడినప్పుడు యాజ్ కిడ్స్ యు ఆర్ వెరీ క్యూరియస్ అండ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఆల్ సార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ బట్ అడక్కు క్వశ్చన్స్ అవన్నీ జస్ట్ షట్ షట్ అవుత్ అండ్ ప్రే టు గాడ్ ఇలా ఉండేది బట్ వన్స్ ఐ మూవ్ టు హైదరాబాద్ వెన్ ఐ వాజ్ ఆన్ మై ఓన్ ఐ కంప్లీట్లీ బికేమ్ అన్ ఎయిస్ట్ ఐ వాజ్ లైక్ ఓకే దిస్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఐ ఐ వాజ్ ఫోర్స్ టు బిలీవ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ మై లైఫ్ రైట్ లెట్స్ సే ఫకెట్ అండ్ లెట్స్ నాట్ దెర్ ఇస్ నో గాడ్ థింక్ ఐ హ్యావ్ డిసైడెడ్ దట్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఇట్ వియర్లీ కేమ్ ఇన్ టు మై ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ నైన్టీన్ ఫ్రమ్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఎయిటీన్ యాక్చువల్లీ బికాస్ ఐ లాస్ట్ ఫెయిత్ ఇన్ గాడ్ ఐ లాస్ట్ బిలీఫ్ ఇన్ గాడ్ ఐ వాజ్ లైక్ ఓన్లీ మ్యాన్ ఆర్ రియాలిటీ వాట్ వీ డూ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ మ్యాటర్స్ అట్ ది ఎన్ ఆఫ్ ద డే దిస్ నో గైడింగ్ ఫోర్స్ ఆర్ ఎనీథింగ్ వన్స్ యూర్ డెడ్ యూర్ డెడ్ దట్స్ ఆల్ దర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ దర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ మోర్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ బట్ వియర్లీ వెన్ ఐ సా మై సక్సెస్ విత్ క్షణం అండ్ Uh, I saw a kind of a dip while making Krishna and Dislila because that film took a lot of time to make. Mm-hmm. Uh, for six to eight months, it was, it was stalled. Mm-hmm. And oh, after it got ready. After it got ready. So I didn't know where my life was going and I didn't know if I can sustain this career for a long time because uh, money and all is not how, is, how it is supposed to be. for a grown up man right mm-hmm. you still have to depend on your parents sometimes yeah. mm-hmm. so it was all i was going through all of this weird uh, shifts mm. and i don't know how but uh there is some something i believed in hope uh, hope i didn't lose hope but there came a point where even i lost that hope that that dark phase where you think that nothing is going to happen this is it this i'm this is how it end done, it's yeah. done this is how it, mm. it's going to end yeah it it gave me that kind of a feeling but uh, thankfully shrikant again mm. he, he that's why he's like my mentor kind of a person he took me to goa and we were on the beach and uh, yeah and that that was like a very enlightening experience and something changed in me that day mm-hmm. and i was like okay fuck everything fuck success or failure or whatever it is my life is bigger than the work that i do and i i have more to my life than just films mm-hmm. these are just part of uh, my life but it cannot i cannot let them uh, decide how i live my life or my state of mind or my mm-hmm. happiness or sadness or whatever mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that was like kind of an enlightening experience and after that uh, there was so much love uh, flowing towards me from my wife and my friends that uh, so at a point i was not ready to receive that love i was sh- i was so uh, closed mm. because uh motham open chesi receive cheskodaniki konni saal bayam vesthadi because yeah you need guts for that you need yeah. guts to receive love yeah, yeah. so because at some point you feel you don't deserve it probably exactly mm. pressure, yeah. pressure, pressure or you feel cool. the responsibility, responsibility of love that of i have love. to give back as exactly. much exactly yeah, yeah. yeah all true. that fears yeah yeah avanni dati love came into my life and then and then i tracked back love and suddenly it felt like there was some uh, higher power that was guiding me through nice no but uh, just going back so then did you like are you now back into like uh, like you like the comfort of believing in god or some yeah, sort of spiritual uh, i'm not religious but i'm spiritual i mm-hmm. i there are different stories of god that uh, we have in religions but uh, shiva of course when you start meditating it all starts with shiva because it's the absolute mm-hmm. uh, nothingness that mm-hmm. uh, that everything we see right now is created out of that nothingness mm-hmm. before the bang happened mm-hmm. and so you kind of uh, try to get in get to that still space where you don't have uh, even a flicker of your thought in your mm-hmm. mind it's not like you would control it but you just close your eyes and sit down you just let everything pass through like Ooh, how each evolunchi when each evolunchi odle mantaru kada so if you just make yourself hollow you will just go into a kind of a silence and that comes with a lot of practice yeah yeah uh, i practiced a lot but now i'm off practice lately now if i sit i can't even sit for about more than 15 20 minutes but mm-hmm. there were times where i used to meditate for 45 minutes one hour mm-hmm. nice uh, straight yeah so once i started meditating it was uh, it was so blissed out i used to just laugh uh, like i was stoned mm-hmm. out for no reason without any substance without mm-hmm. i used to just 
I was so happy. Mm. In general, mm. you don't need a reason to be happy, right? So I was, yeah. I became so playful and uh, shit like that. So mm. that way, meditation helps a lot when yeah. it comes to creativity because uh, your creativity flows to you or it presents itself to you when uh, you are least disturbed. Correct. Mm. By any of your fears or your thoughts or your self doubt. Yeah. You only need to. These are the blocks that we put in front of ourselves. in the path that we are trying to go to in the the place the destination that we are going to trying to go to mm. but in th- these are the blocks that uh, we put for ourselves correct i think meditation helps you clear those blocks and you start reading about shiva you get i, I at least i got fascinated about uh, his life and the stories that were around him i was only trying to read between the lines because uh, not every story is the way it seems to be right sometimes manage event than versions chapter Yeah. yeah it could actually mean something it could yeah. mean because something it has some other purpose also yeah because they say shiva shakti uh, all of these and it boils down to plus minus <coughs> electron proton yeah. neutron atom yeah mm-hmm. you can just draw parallels to that if uh, mm. if you dig deep into that subjects which i did mm-hmm. a lot yeah. and i i used to read a lot of uh, books on spirituality a lot of different uh, spiritual teachers at the time everybody has their own expression but uh, ultimately everybody is saying the same thing they're talking about the same thing correct yeah. that uh, that one energy that one power we don't know what it is hmm. that's guiding us or that's the reason for our existence maybe what we create here again it's all just a speck yeah. of the dust yeah, yeah. Uh, the, in the pet the uh, universe law yeah hmm. uh, yeah but i think recently a uh, couple of years back i guess 2022 uh, krishna uh, like lord krishna he started kind of catching my attention okay after oh, you made krishna and his leela <laughs> yeah after much i made after. krishna much after i made krishna maybe he leela. watched it after 2 years is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that like yeah, final after a, that moment of realization when uh, i was thinking about krishna and his play or his uh, leela or whatever and i was like asli em em all inch petta nu krishna and his leela ni you actually somewhere a universal connection ha nu nu pettin title chaala chinna story ki iskeli pettav adi but actually it's it's much the more bigger much than more. that uh, yeah nice actually osho has written very well uh, on krishna yeah there is and a book called krishna and his philosophy krishna and his philosophy yeah and also there is like since you mentioned bhagavad gita and osho There, there is a confluence of the two where osho has an 18 hour dissection of the bhagavad, bhagavad gita, gita. Oh. Mm. it's like 80 i think it's on spotify or uh, youtube somewhere okay but it's in hindi that's the only disadvantage but that is a nice like that is my favorite interpretation of bhagavad gita mm. mm-hmm. there is where he has his own sort of a thing so he mixes it with his like oshoian philosophy right. yeah and stuff like no, that. Osho also has a very nice uh, understanding he had a, he had a very munchy explanation about uh, atheist like put oh, even if you are a believer theist you believe in something and even if you are an atheist you don't believe in the concept of believing something so end of yeah. day you are believing in yeah. one more thing yeah so it's so, like instead of that just water a plant <laughs> yeah. yeah that is what it is like yeah. uh, upon see much clarity yeah. achindi oh, even jed uh, krishnamurthy when you're saying about i yeah. experienced that uh, process of uh, don't get attached to your thoughts adi you remember uh, i used to keep texting you at one point of time i am unable to concentrate yeah, yeah. like uh, meditation is the best thing how to stop overthinking ah andalo osho has a video on that no on that, yeah uh, yeah he's like you can't stop you can't, stop you can't how to stop thinking it's called how to stop thinking yeah yeah if you're watching osho videos that's fine but if anybody wants to catch up on osho uh, it is uh, better that they read the versions before 96 or 93 i don't know which year exactly mm-hmm. because the all the versions after that because osho era uh, ipen tarata whoever is running the ashram mm-hmm. they are interpreting it and in they are they are up, uh, updating the books in their so, expression so all version wala yeah, yeah. so yeah, it's tricky that that because elant is books especially they'll influence you a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. and you assume mosha is only saying all this yeah so oh. adi some books are uh, not exactly the way he spoke oh so you have to check the versions which when it was published or yeah. printed oh okay mm. ఓ అట్లా కూడా ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్స్ చేసేస్తున్నారా చెప్పలేం అంటే కరెక్ట్ కరెక్ట్ అవును నో బికాజ్ దట్ దట్ ఓషో ఇంటర్నేషనల్ ఇస్ అ వెరీ డిస్ప్యూటెడ్ థింగ్ లైక్ ద ట్రూ ఫ్యాన్స్ సే దే ఆర్ టేకింగ్ అవే ద వాట్ ఎవర్ దేర్ ఇస్ సమ్ ప్
kind of issue happening with the show and he is like again sandeep reddy vanga he yeah. provokes you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's yeah. not easy to uh, accept him yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but also like once you kind of get hooked like i feel like he's one of the people who has influenced my life the most mm. in the sense that Correct. of course it comes like i was lucky that osho and asset came into my life at the same time <laughs> <laughs> there was a confluence but uh, yeah he's he's one of those guys dude that and like i particularly like him as a comic because he's so fucking funny yeah he's very yeah, funny like his delivery mm. like and he thinks me. before he spe- not an like one word is uneconomical yeah no but yeah. that is in english very, because that's a yeah. second language second language yeah. in hindi he is fucking he is operating at a different level man that's yeah. like tendulkar in chennai versus tendulkar batting in perth Oh uh-huh. he's still Tendulkar but there he's dealing with the bounce. Uh-huh. Here is butchering fucking Saklen Mushtaq for six every like that's what it feels yeah. like right Osho in Hindi. So but I'll tell you one funny story that I heard. Of course I'm doing a shit job at it. Mm. But imagine Osho saying it okay? Mm. So but what about my Hindi? So Osho says ki ek circus ka manager tha. Okay? Uska kaam tha ki wo duniya mein ajeeb ajeeb cheeze sab leke rakhta tha. तो एक दिन एक आदमी आया और बोला कि क्या आपको एक कुत्ता चाहिए जो पियानो बजाता है तो सर्कस का मैनेजर बोला हाँ मेरा तो काम ही है अजीब अजीब चीज़ें कलेक्ट करना सो मुझे चाहिए तो वो आदमी एक सूटकेस लेकर आता है और सूटकेस में से एक छोटा सा कुत्ता निकलता है और एक छोटा सा पियानो रखता है और वो कुत्ता पियानो बजाने लगता है और क्या मधुर बजा समथिंग ओशल यूज ऑल दिस वियर्ड वर्ड नॉट लाइक मधुर एंड प्रीतम मैडम फिर लाइक कितना मधुर बजाया छोटा सा कुत्ता सब लोग परेशान थे फिर अचानक एक बड़ा कुत्ता आया और इस छोटे कुत्ते को उठा के ले गया तो सर्कस का मैनेजर बोला कौन है वो तो उसने बोला वो उसकी माँ है वो चाहती है कि वो डॉक्टर बने <laughs> that is my favorite osho story <laughs> and of course i am doing like a fuck all rendition with fuck all hindi and no, whatever i get it yeah the but just imagine him with yeah. his unblinking fucking eyes you know telling yeah. that story uh, fucking i wish he was in today's time dude i would love to see yeah. what osho was doing on instagram he was uh, at least uh, 40 50 years ahead i heard yeah, no? yeah, yeah so. dude fuck and now all these fuckers they'll watch wild wild country and they'll comment shit on me like mm. oh osho i'm like hey man mm. whatever Anyway, I feel like Osho was a good note to but yeah, thanks for taking exactly. us there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. And um, yeah, I feel like we always start off with trying to inspire the youth but we never fucking end up in that. <laughs> <laughs> so we just leave it to the guest. Is there anything that you would like to say to aspiring filmmakers? Fuck the reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the reviewers also. Uh, no yeah. reviews. <laughs> yeah. Reviews. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I feel like that sums it up, man. Thank you so much. I hope this Thank podcast you. was fun. It was. Somebody... It was. It was. Yeah. I nice. look. I look forward to uh, catching up again. Yeah. Yeah. Sometime. Sure. Yeah. Please come again. Yeah, You're yeah, invited sure. at any point of time. Done. And Next you time, can pick any topic also that you want to talk on. Manam. Definitely. Yeah. Next time, probably me and Harsha will come play in the end for you guys. Oh, <laughs> definitely. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on. I'll bring my kahan also okay, because you okay. need a drummer. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you have Watch guitarist, yeah. singer, rapper. You don't have drummer. Yeah. In cool. the end. <laughs> in the end. Doesn't even matter. Cool. Cool. All right. Thank you yeah, so much, thank man. Thank you. Thank you. It was so much fun. Thanks for having me. Hello. Bye.